in the family already stick with it no no i like the pussy and there's the saigon whore that bit my nose off get the hell out of my house in jesus name i pray gargoyles psychics everything's ungodly daddy can't rape us all daddy can't rape us all daddy can't rape us all tonight Daddy can't rape us all. Daddy can't rape us all. Daddy can't rape us all. It ain't right. Shut the fuck up. But he, I know what they say. He didn't say. You're a fucking You have to ask yourself the, that question, Shut folks. Shut the fuck up. You know, it's a very, You're I'm, I'm a very much into this video. You know, there's no nicknames here. Fuck! Find my book! Find my book! Find my book! Find my book! Buy 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 my book! Hello! We should have just ended it right there. That would have been a nice troll. <laughs> Let's take a look at Ethan Van Skyver's Cyberfrog Wrecked Planet. This is well, I just fucking add to stream. There we go. I mean, this is an absolute phenomenon. This is, there's never been any like in two hours. He was over two hundred thousand yeah. uh, dollars. Let's do. I haven't even refreshed it in a few minutes. Holy smokes! This guy is right at the uh, three hundred twenty thousand. Unfucking believable. I backed. I think I did exact same thing you did. I backed this. Mm -hmm. I got the add-on of uh, Ides of March, which you only got a few more hours for. Get this shit. Everybody yeah, who's listening tomorrow Eastern time. He's doing a twenty six hundred and sixty six claimed. Ooh. I am. Uh, yeah, I got. I got this. Is on. There's a twenty four hours only on the Ides of Mar March. This is looks awesome. Gargoyle psychics. <laughs> what did you get with yeah six six six? Let's see, they change. No, still six six six. I got the uh, honeycomb box. You know, yeah. as Mike Miller pointed out, it's only four books, but everything he adds to it will go into here, except for Ides of March. This is a twenty four hour book. Yeah. So anything else he has? I mean, I know he's adding a calendar. I know he's adding another book. Andrew Werther's going to do it. So for 200, you get four books plus the calendar plus Andrew Huerta plus, you know, on whatever else he adds. And he's planning on adding more stuff. So, Wait, Huerta's doing a book? That's what I heard. I heard Huerta. Uh, hold on. Let me borrow Zach's line. I got a question. Yeah. How the hell is Huerta going to do a book? Is How much more does he have to do on uh, Sovereign? I think he's finishing up that. Well, obviously, to uh, how far from it though? People are calling me the slur stream. I right, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, Andrew Horch is not doing the book, according to John. Huh? I don't know. I I'm just hearing about this. And where is doing a book? I'm just saying. Look, I love where to. I love his art, but is he going to delay this project? <laughs> Fire Andrew Horch. That's the headline from this stream already. John Mellon says, cancel Andrew Huerta. He's late and he's going to ruin Cyberfrog. I'm not, I don't think that's what I said. I'm just saying, uh, he could be done with Sovereign. I don't know. But um, how many pages is he going to be drawing? You know what? I'm with you. Hashtag cancel Andrew Huerta. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not what I said. No, you're making, you're making a strong case. I'm just, look, I'm as a backer. I'm just wondering what's going on with this Huerta thing. Andrew Huerta has a message for you. 
Shut the fuck up. But he, I know what they say. He did say. You're a fucking. Cunt. You have to ask yourself the, that question, Shut folks. Shut the fuck up. You know, it's a very, You're I'm, I'm a very much into this video. You know, no nicknames here. In his and that was from Andrew, who worked uh, as a yeah, response. That's some John. fucking shit. Well, it's on now, Andrew. John was trying to cancel him. Yeah. I have a question. I well, I heard Ethan talking about it today. He said he asked Andrew Horta, "Would you be interested in doing a like a supplemental book?" Some other it was uh, it was uh, wait, Amphibionics three. That's what it was. Oh, I mu yeah, I must have been like I don't know, zoned out or something. You were on the stream. I was driving I in my car. I was on. I was high or something. I don't know, man. You know, I think you don't smoke weed. What? No, I do smoke weed. All right. Well, you were you like were, half my problems. You were on the stream when he said, "I think I might get Andrew Horton to do oh. Amionics three, and it will go in the honeycomb box." Oh, and you, you had no questions. You were just sitting there, high as a fucking kite. Like that sounds radical, dude. And all of a sudden, I announced, and you're like, "Hold on a second, Cecil. I got questions." Blah 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 blah. How can it work to do that? I'm like, "What the? I was at home. I didn't do anything." Thank you. By the way, oh. I am murdering. This is a bottle I opened up. I am almost halfway done with it. When did you open it up? A week ago? No, I opened this. This I just bought this today. I opened it on Ethan's stream. Hmm. That's enough to normally kill a human being. <laughs> I feel there coherent. What's, I feel good. Like... Um, do I seem incoherent? People, some I saw somebody in the, in the chat said this is a slur stream. Am I yeah, slurring? Those are the best ones. But am I slurring a lot? I have to nah. do it. Like I kind of feel like my brain is working and shit. Not I got, enough to stop drinking. I got the stream going, didn't I? That's the fucking technological marvel. It took a while. We're bound. Come on, that's not my fault. We were fucking talking. Yeah. I got a question. Go ahead. Why? Why are you starting your stream so late? Because we were talking off air. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We were talking off air with Ethan and Zach, and uh, it, that actually went went a while. And then uh, we Cecil finally sends me the link in here. I hop in here, and then he's got to go. I don't know, grocery shopping or I need water drop. Comes I was back. Then, then we're talking about just nothing for like five minutes, and it's like, uh, can we go live? And then he said he wasn't going to do it until he hit 250. He's like, I don't get out of bed unless I got 250 people. I need 200 feet. We got 535. Watch that shit, motherfucker. Yeah. Well, we're streaming now. Yeah, we're on fire. You're just spilling the beans tonight, aren't you? Yeah. Like, <laughs> all, I'm laying all the dirt out. Comic I'm, artist. I'll tell you what. I'm going right to do here. something different. I, I say if we, I said I was going to end the stream at 320. But I won't do that because that's a non-incentive. I say if we hit 320 by 125, which is 10 minutes. If we hit 320 by 125, I'll go till 2. Hmm. Well, why didn't you say 130? That, because, yeah, 130? Yeah, it's 115 right now. So uh, you hit, fuck it. You think, yeah, you think I got enough fucking clout to get eleven thousand dollars in sales? I, I'm 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 the fucking cash grab guy, not the fucking wrecked planet guy. Wait, a thousand? What number did you say? I thought you said three twenty. I said if you get to if you get to three twenty, I'll stay on till two a.m. Yeah. So yeah, you only need a thousand dollars in fifteen minutes. No. In ten minutes, I have to get a thousand dollars. If we get a thousand dollars in twenty minutes, I'll stay till fucking two a.m. Twenty minutes. Did you just say fifteen? Motherfucker! Why can't anybody in Commerce Gate do math? You guys are all making money, and no one knows math. Uh, it's true. I said if you go, th if we hit three twenty, yeah, by one twenty-five, which was ten minutes ago when I said it, it's now one sixteen. So. Normally, I said I'm going to end the stream at 320, but that's not an incentive if people like us. So 320. If you hit 320 by 125, 
I will stay on till two. Do you understand the math on yeah. that? Yeah. So what do you what do you I don't know, I'm probably high. We gotta do fucking you're like uh you, you ever watch wrestling? The guy Scott Steiner math. Let me see if I can pull that up. Steiner math. Yeah, Scott Steiner math. That's what you do. Let me see if I can pull that up. Scott. He had a heart attack actually. Uh, well, he was a massive uh, juicer, but still, and he was he was hated in the industry because because uh, he couldn't do math. Him and his brother would actually beat the shit out of people. Oh. Uh, so he was hated, but the fans kind of loved him because they knew he was an actual tough guy. But now he's like a kind of, now that he's off steroids, he deflated and had mm -hmm. a heart attack during one of the shows. Um, all right. I'm going to share this. This is Scott Steiner math, which I believe is, is also John Mellon math, who's a tough guy. Yeah. yeah. Who's also some kind of tough guy, apparently. I don't believe it. You go one-on-one -on -one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best that beat me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix, you have a winning chance to go down. See, the three-way that sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 50-60 <laughs> third chance of winning. Because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me, and he's not even going to try. So, Swallow <laughs> Joe, you take your 30, 30, and a third chance, minus my 25% chance, and you've got an eight and a third chance of winning at that fight. But then you take my 75% chance of winning, if we used to go one-on-one, -on -one, and they add 66 and two-thirds percent, <laughs> 141 and two-thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, Nick Joe... I love his partner, dude. And they spell disaster for you as sacrifice. That's fucking man. That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat that because that's fucking. That's, this is Mel. This this guy. I guarantee you, you and Scott Steiner were in the same math class together. Hell yeah! Fucking. By the way, this was obviously added by somebody, but this was the original yeah. promo above. See, normally if you go one on one. With another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best that beat me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix. Your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me, and he's not even going to try. So small Joe. You take your 30, 30, and a third chance minus my 25% chance, and you've got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. <laughs> but then you take my 75% chance of winning if we go one-on-one, -on -one, and they add 66 and two-thirds percent, I got 141 <laughs> and two-thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. <laughs> See, Nick Joe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. I love you know my favorite part is they they spelled disaster with numbers. Jeez. You see that? Yeah, it's terrible. You as sacrifice. Fucking a man. I feel like I'm being bullied. He's a bull. He was. A, he was a legit. No, you bullying me right now? He was Scott. I'm the Scott Steiner of Comic Scan. I'll bully you. I'll fucking yeah. choke you out. You know that. I'll choke out a deer. You think what I'm going to show mercy to you? Uh, I was crying. So this is during a pandemic, John. My family needs to eat. M oh, dude, I can't wait. Look, if shit goes down, man, I mean, you don't even have any guns, John, and you announce it to the world. Dude, six one, man. I don't need guns. That's just a bigger target for me, motherfucker. No, not out here, man. If you were four one, I'd be like, I can't hit that guy. I ain't got that kind of aim. Six one, yeah, I'll take him out. No, I'll hide behind a bush. <laughs> <laughs> if you're six one, I, well, how is hiding behind a bush an advantage of yourself? Then I'll jump out when somebody walks by with a gun. And I'll break their neck. Look, I've seen it in Rambo. I'll choke you out. You know it. I, I'll drop on you. 
Oh, I was kind of disappointed in that. As long as, you, as long as I don't have to run more than 10 feet at a time, I'll kill you. Hmm. If you're able to like jog backwards at a steady pace, you'll you'll get away from me. Mm. I'll give you that. <laughs> Other than that, you're dead, man. Yeah. We're having mailing tonight, kids. Yeah, I had a guy uh, jog backwards away from me um, at what is it? AIT in the army. Uh, he pushed me into my wall locker, and uh, he was laughing, running back or jogging back, hopping back, and he was heading towards the hallway. And I was in pursuit. And uh, as soon as he stepped in the hallway, uh, it had just been whatever, mopped. It was soaking wet. And he, like, biffed it right to the ground. Then I ran up to him and kicked him. It's the kind of guy I am. I will kick you when you're down. Yeah, of course. I give him a good crack. I, I apologize to him in the middle of the night because he was groaning. I'm a big fatso now, but I used to be in shape, and I had friends who were boxers, and they would forget it. Boxers, to me, that's the best fighter. A stand-up a stand up boxer, I have the most respect for. But if you, if a person's good at boxing, you just have to do non-boxing things, which is like tackle them at the waist. And they're like, you're not allowed to do that. And I'm like, well, if I was fighting you for real, I'm not going to fucking sit here and get punched in the face a hundred fucking times. I'm just going to tackle you at the waist. So they're like trained. And I I had one of my college roommates was a, on a wrestling scholarship. And he was just like, you know, let's wrestle. Let's fucking, we're out in the hallway. There's like a crowd. And he's, and, and in like two minutes, he had me fuck. He was like bending my knee backwards. He had me in fuck. And I just reached over and put my thumb in his eye. And I fucking started pressing down and he let go of the move. And he's like, oh, what the fuck? You know, I did. I'm like, yeah, but if we were fighting in real life, I'm not going to just let you fucking dislocate my fucking knee. Mm -hmm. Fucking pull your eyeball. It's right there. Why wouldn't I do that? So like all that shit, MMA is a better form of fighting. But but uh, in, in real life, the best fighters are, are, are trained boxers. They'll fucking knock you out way, way before you get a chance. Yeah. Yeah. There's some good videos of like. This old dude, man, just some old guy, and he like takes out like four dudes at, in front of a gas station. Just stand up, yeah. A stand up boxer. Anybody who knows how to avoid a punch, and it's not that hard. Like if you're trained, uh, anybody who's done rudimentary boxing training and has accuracy with their punches and head movement, which makes them hard to hit, will fucking just take you apart. Because dr and most of this shit happens when you're drunk. Mm -hmm. and if you can fucking if you can avoid getting hit and and land you know accurate hits to the fucking jaw you'll yeah. not you'll win every time well we'll see uh how good they are when i jump out of a bush i will shoot you i'm actually good at moving to, I, I shoot ski comp yeah. competitive, competitive uh ski shooter well that's a rifle though right that's a shotgun yeah you're not gonna be able to swing that around on me i'm gonna be too close too quick how how fucking close do you think you get before I, I'm holding a gun? Why would I'm I hiding in the bush? You're walking down either your driveway or your sidewalk. If I'm, if I'm hunting you in the fucking no, you're just look. It, this is like after the economy collapses, you're not hunting. You're just you're checking your mailbox or something. After the economy collapses and you're looking for a house to steal toilet paper from, and the guy is going to check his mailbox and he's got a shotgun hanging over his shoulder, you go. I'm going to check another house. That's what you do. You're not gonna. No, fuck I'm gonna. It. I'm gonna steal your shotgun. And I'm gonna shit. take. I'm gonna take what's yours. And I'm gonna make it mine. Does that include debt? No, because debt's gone. It's the apocalypse. Ah, oh, fuck that shit, man. I already put you down as like my significant other, so oh. you massacred a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you better pray my fucking heart doesn't give out. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Ba, ba, ba. Let's share a screen. Let's see. We're going to do a fucking. Did they hit 320 by 125? I hope so. We're at 126. I gave you guys a minute grace. Oh, nice. Did it. We're going to two. Wow. You guys... I, thought your, I thought your powers were gone, Cecil. I thought that thing wasn't going to move. I no, my powers for cash grab are gone. Mm. Cash grab powers diminished yeah how many more days you got left on that 
I don't know. I should check that though. It doesn't even it doesn't even come up on my thing. Hey, a viral filtration mask. Viral filtration. What? Why doesn't my fucking cash grab thing come up on popular projects? It's like no one's buying anything from Nobody it. Nobody cares. You guys all forgot about Dre. Yeah. Stop forgetting about it. All right, let's let's do this. If we don't hit 340, if we hit 340 by at at what did I say we were going to two? If we yeah. hit if we hit one forty at two, I'll throw an extra half hour. We'll go two thirty. Now mm -hmm. you're not you're not you're not required, John. I understand. No, no, I, I'm I'm team player, man. You get to uh, one forty, yeah, we'll hang around to what two thirty. But John, there's probably a sixty six percent chance we won't hit one forty, which means you're one th you have a one third chance of not even <laughs> having to go to two thirty. And there's uh, another thing, and if you take two thirty which is 23 if you round off the uh, zero, minus that from the 33 and a third, we're talking about 10 and a third chance that you yeah. have to go to 230. So I think you're good. Right. Yeah. Might as well take NyQuil right now. Might as well. I, yeah, well I, thank you, Totes Baloney. I didn't even factor Co Kurt Angle into this equation because <laughs> he knows he can't get me to 140. Hmm. All right, let's check out. All right, well, that that's gonna be a surprise. Yeah, why All don't right. you leave that cash grab on its own window and then open up Cyberfrog in another one? Can I do that? Is that yeah. allowed? It's allowed. I'll stop sharing. Hold on. Stop yelling at me, first of all. Yeah. I'm, I'm sick of being bullied. Cecil, your pictures look better, but they're still pretty crooked. Whose pictures? Your pictures on your wall. There you go. Look at that. You can get a ruler. You down with OCD? Yeah. We got 666 viewers right now, according to Trev Rock One. I really? Said, yeah. This is a unholy stream. Well, now we're at 675. Well. You missed the uh, you, you missed the opportunity to play the clip. You're right. Hold on. Get the hell out of my house in Jesus' name! I pray. Gargoyles, psychics, everything's ungodly. Yeah, that was ungodly. a clip that's going on in Doug Tenaple's house right now. Oh shit! Right, so hold on a second. What am I looking for? I got a cash uh, or, No, Bigfoot Bill 2. Cyber Frog Bill 2. wonder how Doug's doing with uh, Bigfoot Bill 2. You think he's out of the 70s yet? Did he get into the 80s? He probably got into the 80s with that uh, stuff. Let's, should we look? I mean, I was, yeah. sh I was sharing... Uh, I was sharing Cyber Frog. Yeah, let's, let's we'll talk about that too. I am a backer. I think we mean you are the same backer. I got, I got the box. Yeah, I got Ides of March. By the way, anybody who wants this Ides of March uh, comic, and you got, you, got, you got only a few hours left. You got you got eleven hours. Oh no, ten and a half hours. And then, that would be more than several. Several. Ten and a half hours left on this, and, I, and uh, there's only, almost a dozen hours. Almost a dozen hours. Wow, and he blew dozen it. minus one. But when you buy this, you get everything. He's going to add stuff to the campaign. You get it without even having to look. This me, you buy this, you just get everything. He's going to stuff the box. Yeah, that's why I like featured tiers, man. It, it just. Whatever it makes me feel good to back a feature tier because I just feel like I'm getting what you know the, the best bang for my buck. That's my feature tier. You, my feature tier is you get everything. Yeah, I got that one. Ash too. Grab, you get the Kelsey Shannon, you get Dirtworm Doug, uh, Ash Can, boom. You gotta worry. You buy that, you got everything. Same with Ethan. You buy this, but you notice the difference. 
I only went set. I should have done two hundred dollars for mine. Yeah, but then again, my skill level is not at Ethan's. Whatever, it's your first campaign. You know, you gotta learn how to walk before you run. Um, but the box is our new thing. I, I feel like Ethan started the box craze. He did. He was the yeah. first guy to ever have a box. Yeah. Uh, I got this. I got this, and I got the sketch. Where I got the add-on sketch. Well, who did you get as a sketch? I think I got Cyberfrog because I did it when I was on stream, and I, I maybe I didn't check anything. I wonder if it let me buy that without checking anything. I got Salamandroid. Hmm. I probably got Cyberfrog. I should have got Salamandroid. Now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, he's Fuck. probably gonna die. You fucked up, asshole. Let's say if we've gone up. With my threat of staying on air. What time did I say we were going to... You had to hit 140 by? 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Let's see. What do you think? I don't think it's budged. Do I have to do a no? By the way, they say if you can hold your breath for 10 seconds, it means you don't have corona. I thought it was 20 seconds. 10. Oh, I've been holding my breath for like 20 seconds. You're fucking great. But yeah. I, I'm going to do a no if we don't fucking... Do Move. We, what do you think? It doesn't move. You do a no. Give people more time? No. Don't make me do a no. They actually hurt. Do it. Well, you might have the coronavirus. I blame Here you. It is. I blame you, John Mallon. Yeah. yeah. Cash grab. No. Coronavirus. <laughs> hey, you're good to go. I think I could have got another five out of that. But it was yeah. Can you imagine if like it was the apocalypse? Like everybody, look, I'd I'd be losing weight. You'd be everybody would be like in shape again. I'm you got to run for your life. I just looked at myself on that fucking uh, Ethan stream, and I was fucking twenty pounds, at least twenty pounds heavier. Mm. Yeah, before you went homeless. Homeless, homelessness, you know, what happens is you just like, see, my sister had like fresh direct and just, you just, I would just tell like Alexa and we need more Oreo double stuff. And then it'd be there like sometimes, you know, the next day or even that afternoon. But now I have to like walk to the store and I don't like walking. You know that. Yeah. Who does? So now I don't need anything because I got to walk to get food. I got now. And you don't even get bags anymore in New York. They don't give you a fucking bag. Anna, Anna is in shape. Well, maybe. We, we've never actually seen her walk. Yeah, Anna. We've never seen you walk. Uh, get in here. You got the link. Does she have the link? I, I think so. Wait, did I send Jack show the link or did I do everything fucking... I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't send you the link. Hold on. I feel like I sent that another link. I did. I sent that another link. It, I didn't even do it as a... Anna is in shape, but oh, here she is to defend herself. <laughs> What's up? Hi, Anna. What, what, what did you eat today? That's what the fucking is on the minds of everyone right now. Um, I had... Don't lie. Don't, don't I dare had lie. I had beef jerky. I had a beef cup jerky. of noodles. And uh, three brownies. Oh man, that's what I wanted to get today was some summer or uh, hundred sauce beef jerky and three brownies. <laughs> and yeah. what did you have to drink today? How many gallons of water did you drink? Uh, I actually have drank three glasses of water, but they've had 
a strawberry lemonade Mio in it. Then you didn't have water. That doesn't count as water. It does. It does. That, no. calories. It's like I had a glass of water, but it had lemonade mix in it. Then you ate lemonade. That's not fucking water. Did and you have no. eight, how many Mountain Dews did you have today? And none. I'm out, and I will not go to the store. What? What is this? Uh, I'm getting one of these. Oh, hey. I, I figured getting out of bed is just, it's too much work. <laughs> is that because you like to bang old ladies? <laughs> no, no. It's because I don't like having to do anything. I want to get a bed that will eject me. Did you just right call out. his wife an old lady? It's yeah. too slow, but I, I figure I can like, you know, uh, well, you need time to adjust. Huh? You need time to adjust. Oh, so you don't have to even stand, be able to stand up with this thing? Will it kick her out of there? It's yeah, gonna, it'll lift her right out. The ass part's going to lift? Oh, yeah, doing right now. Pencil? Oh, my God. If, they, if that bed had a pair of skis on it, I would have brought it to the slopes this weekend. Oh, I'm telling you, Wally was a prediction of the future. Because, look, this is exactly what that is. <laughs> it's not enough. I need to get some wheels on that. Then I don't even have to get out of bed. Let me see. Does it get her ass up? Yeah, it will. It'll eject her out. She's not even heavy enough to be a good example. We need to like. She's a not even happy enough with it. She's still complaining. She's yeah, let's, arguing let's with this guy. This guy. Here we go. Look at that. She can feel it. That's what she's saying. And she's like, "I can feel it." She's already standing. This Bad woman acting. Healthy. I, I'm not interested in healthy women. See, put some wheels under there. Make doors wider. Hot babe, she's our first ambulatory. <laughs> exactly. It's vibrating. All right. I'm always looking for ways to be lazier. Yeah. Hmm? Sitting at your desk drawing isn't enough. Not enough. I got to get up at some point, but if I could work all this, like build my workstation into a mobile bed. <laughs> and I liked your, um, your, uh, what's his name? Liam Neeson. Uh, what's his name? Quinn, uh, Quan Qui -Gon. Qui -Gon. you're right. It did look like you're like, it did look like Ethan, but it was a great painting. Is that somebody, did somebody hire you to do that one? It's not done yet, but uh, which one did you see? The Have one you, you put up where you said this, I, I'm convinced that Qui-Gon is related to Ethan Van Skyver. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Anna can write and draw her name. Did you yeah. see the updated picture that I did? No, okay. let's see it. Uh, Spike, okay. Spike in Madness has a good point. He says, doors, uh, just put a battering ram on it. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Share my screen. That's it of last night, and I haven't uh, worked on it again today because the paint isn't uh, dry enough yet. I have to fix his wrinkles, so I have to add the crow's feet and some of them in his forehead, fix around his nostril, and then uh, his little eyebrow furrow. Is that how you say it? And then, uh, obviously, his robes I need to fix. Um, what do you think? I have a particular set of skills. I draw Cyber Frog and I YouTube. <laughs> it really does look like Ethan. I never thought about that before. Um, let me ask you a question. Is this an actual photo of him or is this photorealistic and an original pose of your choosing? Um, this is like a, one of the most iconic pictures of Qui-Gon. So you just type in Qui-Gon to Google and then this is probably the first one that comes up. I just... I thought it was interesting and I could play with the light a little bit and spruce it up from what they had and do like cool light and then warm light and have that contrast. I, I like really it. like to do that. Is he holding a lightsaber? He is, but it's is it a blue really lightsaber? It's not in the picture. It's like is, off because is he does it is his blue? Uh this picture makes it look blue, but it's not. It's actually green. But I was using a color called Viridian. And so when you paint with that, that's got a cool hues to it. 
So I wanted to do it because um, I rarely ever use this color and I like it. But uh, no, those are good colors to use. The blue against the warms. Yeah. Is this a is this a commission? Is it a commission or just something you wanted to do? No, no, no. So I actually asked. Uh, so this person that's getting it, his name is Ryan, and he sent me a computer and two screens, and he he built this computer for me so I could play. Oh, that video. guy. Yeah, the guy who sent that, those boxes. Yeah, so I said, I was like, I will paint you whatever character you want. Awesome. And he said Qui-Gon is his favorite Jedi, so I'm painting him Qui-Gon. This one's a lot bigger than the ones I usually paint, so this head is about scale to my head. And I'm a little person, so uh, it's not saying too much. So but quite, This is like if you wanted a three foot nine Qui-Gon, this is what he would look like? I guess so. Does he have yeah. little thumpy fingers that could barely hold the lightsaber? Oh, you can't see it. It's off camera. So you, it's whatever you imagine. That's what I'm imagining. Yeah. Let's see. It, it's uh, We have 20 minutes to go. For what? To, if we get to, uh, if we get to uh, 140, we're going to go to 230. On cash. 140,000. It's not, okay. it's not going to happen. Oh, it's happen. And you're gonna go to two thirty. What? Tomorrow afternoon. No, this morning. Oh, uh, here comes the math uh, lesson. <laughs> let's watch. Uh, Dude, I can't. Wow. Watch. Let's watch. Killing it. I saw people start bitching about how Ethan has the box. And I'm like, it's a great idea, but they're like, oh, it's $200. I'm like, well, no fucking shit. It's expensive. And it's coming with like how many comics? It's coming with everything. It comes it's actually with cheaper to get yeah. that one. Exactly. Than ones. It's coming with four, but he's already adding, an, we already know he's going to add Amphibia Annex 3 plus a, cal a 200, uh, 2021 calendar. Plus, yeah, and the, the whatever else is added, he's gonna add to this. So there's gonna be like a bunch more shit in there. He's saying, yeah, I know. And I'm like, it's not just a box. You're not paying two hundred dollars for a freaking box. So when I see people bitch about it, it's like when people bitch about something without any context. And I'm just like, oh, it irks my soul because I'm like, this is actually a really good deal if you think about it. Mm. I got that one. I'm I didn't sad. know the thing with comics. I thought I was just buying the box. You thought you were just buying the box? Yeah. It was a good, it's a cool box. Yeah. Are you going to make a box? Probably not. Well, what? Micah, Micah Curtis had a great idea today. Hmm. Uh, he was saying make the outside a honeycomb and instead of this, have the inside match and have Salamandroid and Cyberfrog fighting inside of the honeycomb trying to, get, trying to get out of it so it's like you open it up and they're in there so i think that's what ethan's gonna do i think a lot of people agreed that that was a great idea like so it's you open it you know this is a honeycomb from the outside then you open it and they're inside the honeycomb trying yeah. to get now, when that ships will like the ship shipping label just be stuck on there or is no. there a bottom? No, you scroll down and it's a chicken box Wait, no, chicken box is different, isn't it? I no. think if you if you're backing at this level, you'll probably get in this chicken box also. Oh, I mean, that's a that's a two hundred dollar fucking tier. But there's no way he's just putting a label on that shit. Either way, it's going to go into another. Yeah, it's no, going, going into chicken box. box. What did Doug do? Did he put a, a label on it or put it a box in? No, a box? He, he had like the chicken box would get the label on it, not oh. the. You know, okay, so that may come in a chicken box with a label on it. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's what I would guess. Oh, well, let's see what the chicken box look, looks like. Because I thought that was just by itself separate. I, I might be wrong, it. but I, I I doubt because this is a collector's item, this this is definitely going to go into another box. So I would guess they put it in a chicken box in this, yeah. That looks too small to hold that box. It does. Well, and then it's going in a different box. There's no way he's slapping a label on that shit. No, that's... it's going in a different box. What does the uh, description say? It says we're going to slap a label on this shit, you fucking <laughs> assholes. I can't click on shit. because No, I'm... go down. Go down to the description. Stop yelling at me, John. I have yeah, feelings I... like a real human boy. Oh, oh, my God. Girl pair of balls. 
Yeah, no shit. No, keep <laughs> going down. Keep going down. I can learn to understand you much better if I can get familiar with the. What the <laughs> hell is that? Yeah, how's your Siri? Yeah, it was you. I just got this computer. I thought that was you. Was that? Is that? What, a, <laughs> what is your? What's the name of your computer? Is it Siri? It's not Apple, right? No, it was. Um, I don't know. Somebody built this for me. All right, hold on. Right here, right in the Cecil. Yeah, right there. Up, up. There you go. Right there. That's the description right there. Is that good? Yeah. Well, it even says right there it's intended for your bookshelf. So, yeah, he's not going to stick a label on it. Um, I got to take a leak. You how guys, dare you? You guys cover for me. All right. All right. Just go quiet. Just talk. No, just talk about how great. Oh, I, oh how talk. Great oh. Is? Yeah. It's, that's what you Um yeah, so I guess I'm gonna ask Ethan next time I see him um what that what that comes in. I feel like it's just a regular box and then he'll because yeah. I've heard at least the way Ethan describes when he ships stuff, how he uses actual wood. I feel like it's gonna be pretty well protected. Oh yeah, I mean that box by itself is protected, but it's way too pretty. I mean that I would almost think that if I was gonna use something like that, that I'd I'd want to not have anything fancy on the outside, and so I can tape it shut, because then it, then it's a decent box by itself, you know. Yeah. But uh, it is pretty. It's too pretty to do that. So, but no, I, I'm pretty happy with uh, Gemini mailers. If I did something like this, I, that would probably be like a next year thing. Um, yeah. After I see how everything goes this year, but this year I'm, I'm going to stick with Gemini mailers. They're simple. They're highly effective. What's so special about it? Well, they're meant for shipping comics, so they're they have a pocket on the inside. They have like a crumple zone, like uh, on the outside. So even if your corners take a bang, it's it's not going into the book. It's going into like an air pocket, basically. Mm. Yeah. So people love like the Gemini mailers. Like I, I don't think I've had any complaints with them. So. Are they uh, like? were expensive or something well you have to pay for them they're not free so yeah. I, i'm not sure what it breaks down to i ordered it by the pallet you, you can go on to gemini whatever i don't know what it is gemini supplies.com and uh you can find whatever it shows you right there how much it is i don't remember what it was to order a pallet of 2700 i think it was so and i may have to order more so so basically when my comic comes in with that does not have matching covers, it's going to come in safe. Yeah, it should be it should be pretty good. So, but also I'm maxing out like the Gem Gemini mailer too. So I'm probably going to like I'll have two different bags with two different boards and two books in each bag and board. Um, and I'll probably have to like sandwich them together so the 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 boards are actually facing out. Um, and I think that'll help protect like the corners and stuff. So yeah. it, it's going to be interesting. I, I just don't want anything like pressing down on like the corners of the book. And then it, it, it wouldn't hurt it, hurt it, but it could give it like the smallest like indentation. And, you know, people are paying too much for indentation. So if I, I think if I sandwich it with the uh, backing boards on both of the outsides, it'll just give it a little bit more protection. So, um, I, I was thinking today, I was like, what if I got like, uh, you know, because I'm already going to bag them. I'm like, what if I got like, you know, that expandable foam, you know, like oh a, almost like a fix a flat. And I'm, what if I just did like a squirt and then I close the flap. So then then that thing's not moving anywhere. I mean, that'll do it. Yeah. Then then it's going to turn out the foam is going to fuck with the bag and it's going to stain the book or you know, uh. something. So. Something will always go wrong. Yeah, Eddie Winkler is saying, no. Oh, Barb Rogers wants her comic shipped in a discus. <laughs> That'd be fun, man. Like, oh, dude, that, that would be fun. Because I, I like to Frisbee golf. Like, what if I got, like, uh, Graveyard Shift Frisbee golf? <laughs> yeah. I, so. I don't know. Maybe that's more fun for me than everybody else, though. What are you? What the hell are you doing? I'm wearing my skiing outfit. Cecil, you are a strange person. 
No, this is my ski gear. I got a helmet, goggles. I got canceled. I'm the face of the coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah, when you think of victims and who <laughs> suffered the most, I want people to think of me. Mm. I was I, I was supposed to be skiing this morning. I only got to ski Saturday, which is a great day of skiing. Went to the mountain this morning, shut down. I was supposed I'm, to be skiing till Wednesday. So, you know, a lot of people, they hear about the virus, but they don't know who the victims are. And I want to put a face on it, and I want this to be the face. So it's more like I can now relate to what's going on, and I can relate to the people that are suffering. And my ski trip was canceled because people eat bats in China. Yeah, it's not... Uh, how right. President Trump, can we nuke China now? Is it yeah. is it too early or do we do it now? My ski trip was canceled because somebody eats bats. Yeah, because someone had sex with a bat. Where's the fucking justice in that? There is none. You know what? Everybody is like, oh, this doesn't this doesn't concern me. This isn't real. It's something I see on the news. No, real people are affected by this shit. Mm. People like me. Yeah. Yeah, people like that go on vacation to Florida for Disney World. Where's their rights? Disney World is still open. Oh, no. Disneyland. No, Disneyland. Disneyland closed too. Disneyland closed. Did Disney World close? Yep. Oh, I guess that makes me right. Closing, closing all of the stores as well. But here's the thing. Everybody skiing is wearing a fucking face mask like this and gloves. Mm hmm. They're protected. It's the safest fucking place in the world to be. You should tell everybody to go skiing. That'll end the coronavirus. Oh, that's so true. I'm a victim, you fucking assholes. Victim of people's fear. I'm sick of it. People just weren't afraid. I drank way too much whiskey tonight. This is a new bottle. Not enough. Yeah. That's pretty, uh, a lot. You know, by, you know, by my standards, that's pretty fucking heavy. Yeah, well, I mean, when you score, it's a really good indication of how much you've drank. Maybe I should keep the helmet on. Do it. Because I fall out of a chair. Like that song, you can leave your hat on. You can leave your helmet on. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. No, I'm thinking like Joe Cox. This is a new whiskey. I never drank. Someone said, what whiskey is that? I, I had to drop people off in the Hudson Valley in New York, which was beautiful. Everything was beautiful today. It was blue skies, beautiful. All upstate Vermont, upstate New York. And I grabbed this as a local whiskey in the Hudson Valley called, can you read it? I don't know what the fuck it was called. Taconic? A con yeah, something distillery, yeah. It's yeah, Taconic, yeah. Very good. But it's a local bourbon. Mm, gross. But I got backup shit. You know, I got I got bullet rye. Because it's the apocalypse. You need extra shit. But I still got the Jim Beam. Yeah. Yeah, no one ever ho talks about hoarding liquor. I got uh, half a bottle of red wine. I had to go because I was going to eat at this one restaurant. You could order bottles of red wine, and they'll cork it for you, and you could come back the next night. So I drank like two bottles at their restaurant, and I started this one. I only made a little bit, and they said, well, cork it for you. Come back tomorrow. And then I canceled the mountain, so I went there. I'm like, can I just take the bottle with me? And they gave me the bottle. Wow. Yeah. Everyone's patting themselves on the back for hoarding toilet paper, but I mean, liquor is really where it's at. I mean, you know, you I don't can even eat it anymore. That's why I'm losing weight. You just, I, I found, I figured out a new diet thing. If you just drink whiskey, you don't even eat that much. Yeah. You can use it for cleaning wounds. You can use it as a painkiller. It's a, as a cure all, it cures your rheumatoid, tuberculosis, mm -hmm. whatever else you, my friend. And it'll get you drunk. There to you boot, go. To boot. 
I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my old costume back on. I can't breathe. Okay. <laughs> we we'd all be in a better place, really. We'd have more time to do work and you know get things done. Work sucks. Things done don't matter. Everything fucking is is garbage now. The world is the world is over. Yeah. There's anything, a guy who was saying that he was gonna go and uh, get a real job. <laughs> yeah. What a faker. What a phony. No, that fell apart. Yeah, I told you that. Did I guys tell tell you what happened with that? Yeah, you, yeah, I heard it the other day. But but it it, it worked out worse for me because because I'm doing more work. Holy shit. Yeah, my regulars, father. regulars, uh, slave. No, I'm doing more work now. I should. I wish I got the other one, but it's the same guy, my same buddy. But I don't know. everybody said they heard it. Yeah, where are you at with cash grab? Well, what was the number? If we get to this number, we'll stay till two thirty. If we get to oh, one thirty nine. Okay. If we get to one forty. We'll stay till two thirty. Whoa! Damn. Less than four hundred dollars away from an extra half hour of entertainment. Hey, hey, hey! Let's see what Ethan Van Skyver has done. <laughs> yeah, we'll take all the credit for this too. Yeah, you're welcome, Ethan. Mm -hmm. 32905. Wow, this is a fucking juggernaut. There's nothing like this. This is this is its own thing at this point. No one can compare it. Yeah, it's blown past uh, anything Polito's made. Holy shit. 321380, yeah. Wow. It's almost 2500 backers. Look at that. Three way $200,000 in 2 hours. Damn. It's insane. This is there's nothing like this. And people who are fucking telling him over and over and over it's over it's over it's it can't and it's it, this is bigger than the first one yeah this is going to be bigger he made a million on the first one he's going to make more than a million on the second one it's not over no one is fucking people are still wanting they still have their money to buy comics and they're not giving a fucking dime to dc or marvel because dc and marvel have told them to go fuck yourself so I'm sorry if you have to pay 20 bucks for something that you want to read versus five bucks an issue of some shit that just literally tells you go fuck yourself. It's worth it. Uh, Green Cecil says, I have stolen credit cards and bought this for them. Yes, yes, that's the best thing. If you have stolen credit cards, of course, buy a uh, buy, uh, cash grab or rec planet. Buy them both. Buy them both. Yeah. It's not your money. Best of both worlds. I bought um, a people were saying to read Super Chats, Susan. Oh, shit. I forgot oh, that. Damn it, I totally forgot about that. Hold on. Oh, my God. How much money do you think I have in chat revenue? It hasn't added up. I don't know. All these people waiting. I'll give you. I could give you an actual number. $38. So that will be... About three seconds. Antonio Cardana Cardi Cardi Cardenas uh, is a new member. Welcome aboard, my friend. Comic book scrap card, five bucks. There we go. That knocks it down to thirty-three dollars. Says five bucks. Says he doesn't show up. Uh, this is before I even started. Uh, you owe me another five bucks. I showed up. Season of Christmas Pass says Andrew, do a cover. For you, John. Oh, Andrew drew a cover for you, John. Mm -hmm. Loyalty, you bastard. Well, <laughs> completely uh, loyal. Yeah. Uh, Camel Moon. Wow. That, did you watch Camel Moon's video on uh, Ethan's? Yeah, you were with me, right? We could redo that. Cecil, I'll come on if you need another. Oh, is there a new Camel Moon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. I thought he was done with those. Okay. I'm, I'm going to share your video right now. Roy, Rooster Roy Reviews says, one more melon, one more melon. 
Sure. John Whelan says a dip dong in sweet sour sauce will stop the slur. Mm. So John Whelan says if I take my cock and like do like a crouch down maneuver into sweet and sour sauce, yeah, I will stop slurring. Well, you, what you want, want to do is you want to take that dip, but then you want to you know dry it off and you know dress it up in something warm, uh, you know like verkaki. Mm. That's my new fashion line for your penis. Uh, Braden Dykstra says. Edith should have an eye thumb. Oh, Edith should have eye thumbed her rapist. No, she threw boiling hot water in his face. What? Edith Bunker when she was getting raped on that. Wait, episode. she got raped? Yeah, there was an episode of All in the Family where like a dude came to rape her. But we were just talking about this the other night. We were. I, I wasn't here because I, I would have. This would have stuck with me. When did she get raped? Did she get raped or almost got raped? Almost, but it's All right. Here's the thing: the the there's no punchline, there's no jokes in the entire episode. But they mm -hmm. had the studio audience come in for a taping of all of the family, and it was a completely joke-free episode where Edith is like fighting off a rapist for fucking twenty-two Jeez. minutes, and the audience doesn't know it's not a comedy because it's been a comedy for like years on TV. So they're just laughing at the most inappropriate moments. It's the fucking weirdest psychological experiment. Wow. It's on YouTube. Just watch. what is up with like sitcoms from the eighties? Well, probably late seventies, early eighties, man. That was like yeah, that was in, like uh, mid seventies. Like they always had like a serious streak to them, and then yeah. you watch stuff now, and it's just it's really like. Like, they yeah, stay away from any real drama with them, you know. There's no episode of Hannah Montana where you know she's fighting off a rapist. Yeah. Well, or even like tool time. Right. If I, they never got that serious, but even like facts of life, like they do episodes, man. And it'd be, it'd get like real, real, like, like, yeah, real I deep that. And like fuck, fuck that shit. I don't know who needs that shit. That's real life. I don't need to get real right while watching fucking TV. Yeah. Maybe fuck you that. do, Cecil. What? Maybe you do. I mean, I, I would fight. They, they always had a lesson, right? Everything's got a fucking lesson. But Edith Bunker was boiling like a pot of water. And at one point, this dude was like fucking, he was, he was attacking her. And she just throws a pot of boiling water in his face. You, but, do you uh, think uh, like uh, Seinfeld kind of changed that? Yeah. I don't think there was I, ever, I, yeah, there was never a lesson in Seinfeld, no, except Seinfeld maybe the last episode. Raped. Seinfeld never, there was never an episode where Jerry got raped. Yeah, but there was that last episode. That was like, you know. It was terrible because Larry David left. He wasn't a writer for that one. Mm. Uh, John Whelan says, oh, okay, we read that. Braden Dykstra, Edith should have thumb, I thumbed her rapist. Uh, uh, level five says, keep the clips coming. Z quick for $9.99. That's $10 on my planet. Yo, Zach Quickle here. Uh, you think my last name is Irish? I don't want to play. pay for a 23 NME. Also buying all of Melon's Marvel books on Amazon. Also, he got a share of that. You're a legend, the both of you. Yeah, the uh, Thunderbolts and Cable are all in trade, so you can save money there. Uh, my two issues of New Warrior, I think, are also in a trade. And I actually, I think even my, Deadpool, my Cable Deadpool... Uh, half of issues in a trade too, so you know whatever you can track those down. Okay. Uh, comic book in Kahoot says Anna, can you write and draw your name? Fuck yeah, I can. Like a boss. Wrong. <laughs> this guy wrote it wrong. It should be draw and write your name. He said, "Can you write and draw your name?" And you fell for it. What? It an yeah. Apex Comics says today is my birthday. Just take a shot, Cecil. Yeah, take a Apex shot. Apex Comics, God bless you, my friend. Happy birthday. And I'll sing a song for you for two bucks. Fuck it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. birthday. Wait, whose birthday is it? Happy birthday, Perfect. Apex Comics. Apex Comics. 
Happy, Happy birthday. birthday to you. To you. A well hung and dung who always has something classy to say says Anna. Yes. Are you? Can you read this or no? No, oh, we can't. Uh, on honorific Cala turd turd I can't even read it. Usually he says super califragilistic, but he says honorific Cala Ah, uh, fuck you, man. I'm fucking drink. I drank goddamn more than I have a bottle of bourbon. I, I don't need to show my bona fides anymore. Yeah. Uh, Drunky McAsshole three says the chicken box is for. You, if you buy more than one book, not if you buy the honeycomb box. Yeah. Well, then fuck that shit. That's what I say. I want my money back. Well hung, defeated Cecil. Yeah, but come on. That wasn't fair. Anna was supposed to read it. Sorry. All right, let's, let's, let's refresh Wrecked Planet, which is a runaway hit. 3.2. Oh. Now let's refresh cash grab. Where if you get to three, if you get to one forty, you get an extra half hour of entertainment. One thirty nine five five seven. Uh, do I have right. to, do I have to do the no? You uh, always have to do it. Yeah, give it a go. You know it's easy for you to fucking say it, but I think. See, so when you do it this time, uh, go as long as you can, because I'm going to watch the timer in the stream yard and see how long this is. <sighs> no! All right, started at 41 on the, on the timer here. Seconds. Oh, that was fifty seconds. Fifty. I keep hitting fifty. I gotta do. What? I gotta do ten more seconds. Oh, you can oh, do it again. Time. Next time, try it. I can hold yeah. my breath for over two minutes, but it's harder when you're pushing out and making noise. Right. Yeah. You have to. You have to worry more about the sound level and less less about the actual exhale. If, I, if you would have said if you would have said fifty seconds, but you said ten seconds. Yeah. If you well, I was said, counting down to a minute. If I knew you, if you said fifty seconds, you would have got a minute out of me. Oh, okay. You fucked me up, Alan. All right. God damn it, Don. We'll, we'll, we'll get it right next time. No, there won't be next time. It's only going to keep going up. Watch, refresh. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's refresh Ethan's. Yeah, it must be an Indiegogo. Yeah, there we go. Nope, nope it's uh, just your campaign. That's right. Well, a lot of people are fucking, they're still putting in their inputting their information into Ethan's because that's the fucking, you know, that's the new kid on the block. Of course, this old, you know, sale wart of uh, cash grab, the old standby, they're not, you know, rushing over right now. They're buying this and rightly so. But in another minute, let's do a. Uh... Ooh, there's a point of note though. Six days are left on this campaign. Yeah. Six days. What day does that mean? Um, what would that be? Would that be Saturday? Yeah. I I'm, I was supposed to be over Ethan's this Saturday, but I might not be. Oh yeah, you guys is uh, plans to go party. Right? We were gonna go to Philadelphia and party with Zach. In Philly. No, that's the fallback plan, isn't it? No, that's the main plan. Oh. We're going to go to Philly, but 
Flights might be canceled this weekend. I doubt it. Ethan lives like 20 minutes from Philadelphia. I'm 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 of the mind, half of the mind that uh now that the uh, fifty billion dollars has been tapped into that this thing's gonna just kind of fade away. I think we're gonna be back to normal in a week. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll still hear about it, but people aren't gonna be all freaking out how they are now. I, the government I, got what they wanted. I gave people enough time. There are uh, how there are seven hundred people, not all seven hundred of back cash grab, but I'm sure at the seven hundred and two now. I'm not at this point. There's some new people, and when I refresh this, I will not have to give a, a cash grab. No, because I have faith in humanity. Oh, chat, chat is uh, of the mind that we're all going to be quarantined in a week and a half, says MW. Uh, a Kuaka 77 says it'll take months. All right, I'll give a no. Mike Kelly has a good point. How can you even freak out when you have enough TP for a year? Right? Uh, yeah. Well, Anna, did you ever find any more toilet paper? Yeah, actually, Peaches went out of town uh, to go see his daughter this weekend, and he came back with four giant things of toilet paper. Hmm. So we are stocked. All right. So anybody who's curious... Anna's butthole is fine. Yep. There you go. Last week, people were worried. They were like, "Wash your ass, Anna." <laughs> I got super. I got a super chat that said, "Wash your ass, Anna." So people were always on people's minds. Oh. But now, uh, be set your minds at ease, you fucking weirdos out there. Yeah. Butt's fine. Yeah, my butt's covered. I think everyone's butt is covered. Yeah. All right, let me do a no. Uh, let me do. Did you guys save me from doing a fucking no? Let me do one last chance. Mm -hmm. Mother. Now they're incentivized. Now they're fucking trying to kill me. All right, I'm watching the clock. No. All right, that started on the twenty-second mark. Right, that was real freaking close to a minute. I don't know if I can give you that. I feel like I need to give you 59 seconds on that. I'll take 59 seconds. All right, 59 seconds. I'll fucking pass out. That's yeah, it gives you something to work for. All right, 59 seconds, guys. When you hit 60 seconds, you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new form of Judaism. I already got circumcised, and I'm not even Jewish. Hmm. What do I got to do to prove you people? Make a minute? What the? No? I don't know. Everyone fucking silent. 59.6 by my math. Well, I think fucking Scotty Steiner math. I would have fucking have done five minutes by his calculations. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. He's going up... Three hundred dollars. I'm trying to stop myself from fucking passing out. I can't get a fucking dime. <laughs> not even a yeah. No one wants to back you. Nothing. Zero. I'm not doing it. I'm not even doing it. No. Holy smokes! If you guys want Cecil to do the no one more time, there has to be a backer. 
I'll tell you what. I'll do yes. If I if I go up a backer. Yep. By the way, a backer could be somebody that gives a dollar. No, we don't want that. You need to go up at least 25 or whatever, 35 bucks. I have to go up 10 bucks. All right. If I go up 10 bucks, I'll get I I can't just keep going no because you people want me to fucking die. <laughs> I'm tired of it. It's enough that Anna wishes death on me daily. I don't need all of you fucking people. I never, ever once said I wish death on you. Oh, that's the sweetest thing anybody's ever said to me. Yo, you were confusing her with me. I never, ever wish death upon you. <laughs> I don't wish death upon any of my friends. Oh. You're coming out a little strong, Anna. Oh. Sorry. Maybe grow some thicker, thicker skin. Hey, let's watch this uh, Camel Moon video because I just. It yes, just that's, what, that's what we were supposed to do. What is it? That's the guy who does the uh, Space Ghost stuff, but it looked it was a different image on here. So yes, we were supposed to do that before. Thank you, John Camel Moon. Yeah. He said he was put a thing in the chat. He said, "Yo, check this shit out, dummy." And I was, you know, I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do that." But then, John, you distracted me by making me fucking lose my breath. I'm sick of yeah, this shit. My fault. Yeah. You got your audio on. Now oh. this is a. Uh, Will not get busted because it's all original characters. Oh, okay. And it's uh, I like I like uh, the way he drew uh, Ethan. Ethan does not like the way he was drawn, but I do. Really? Eleven thirty-five p.m. at night. Uh, happy to be with you. I am uh, Ethan Van Skyver. How are you tonight, John? How many God people? damn it, Cecil! Are you trying to talk over me every time I say something? Stop yelling at me, John. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, allegedly. Cecil, you sound like shit. Woke up today. I, this is the first night I didn't fever. Is that a All right, I think it's done. Did you have Saturday night fever? I think I have terrible fever. My time was Saturday night fever, uh, break into electric boogaloo, uh, and the, the way we were. The way we were? What the fuck are you talking about? Shattered pictures, <laughs> smiles, <laughs> for the way we were. No, no child on earth, well, not, not but few, uh, 10% tops. Oh my yeah. God. Born in 1974, who are into Bieber Streisand the way we were. Why can't you idiots do what I do, which is love everyone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the thing. Uh, women have come a long way, but you know what? Men who have decided they're women, oh yeah, deserve the right <laughs> to be able to try to compete on equal footing as women in women's sports. It's a great time to be a man. Where does it say? That men cannot compete in women's hockey or women's basketball or women's rugby. You know, there's there's too many women in women's sports. It doesn't say it anywhere, and if it does, it's bigoted. Well, sing a song. We will remember. Tell me, would we? Why is it song in your head? Did you watch this movie recently? Uh, no, I had to sing that in, in my gay choir. Uh, when I was <laughs> you sing no, 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 no. School, even worse than that. Second grade, third graders, you know, we had choir. 
and my parents would get really angry because the, the choir teacher was making us sing these kind of sexual songs. He's also doing the jerk off sign with his hand. Fuck that guy. I'm saying this to you, though. <laughs> uh, he did a lot of great things, but he also filmed women shitting against their will. You're like, oh, this guy's so smart. And then you're like, oh, no, he's not. <laughs> we could all be filming women pooping right now. Why aren't we? No, daddy, please don't. <laughs> don't call me daddy, please. Daddy, no. That'll be good. I will watch that. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at. The West needs more children. Have kids, everyone. Yeah, you got to be careful. You know, we stocked up today to uh, prepare ourselves for the woo flu. You can't catch coronavirus if you never wash your hands. Guys, come on. You, you think I don't have a plan? John, I'm sick. I have the coronavirus. You don't have the coronavirus. And don't mock people who do. There are people who are uh, literally shitting blood right now. And you're, you're not. You don't need to have the coronavirus to shit blood. Well, we the dynamite. Oh, shit, you're right. You scared? You're going to hell and Jesus doesn't love you. No, don't say that. You don't know how Jesus feels about anything. I know how he feels about me. I'm 100% sure that's his imaginary friend that's been raping him since he was four. <laughs> uh, what, you're 100% sure? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jesus came to me one night. He taught me this song that no one else knows. I'll be back. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Booyah, boo. Shaka, look, a look, a bang, bang. Oh, shit. He was holding that in him the entire time. How am I able to do it? <laughs> the way we were. <laughs> oh my god. That was awesome. That was awesome. That might Wait, be. Why do you let the play? What's wrong with you? Give the man recognition. Heathen. <laughs> the way we were. I didn't get it. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi. That was really cool, man. Like, I actually like liked the, it more than the fucking ripoff. Uh, yeah. 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 I do like too. the design, like the spaceship and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's really cool, man. It shit is like even the colors. I love it. Even better. This is fucking awesome. I'm on. I'm honored. <laughs> You're a buff person. I was a Ethan buff. Probably wants to get buffed up. <laughs> Ethan didn't like. Let me see. Let's. See. Ethan. Ethan complained about his design because he he is very gay. He has like well, first of all, he's singing this fucking Barbara. Uh, he's singing. Oh he has ir iridescent <laughs> like. I didn't notice that. Uh, that was the sticking point. He was like, "I'm fine with the giant nose. I'm fine with the big belly, but <laughs> the uh, strapping iridescent high platforms." That was. Oh, <laughs> Look at that though, man. I mean, that's that's some really great art in there. That's I wonder how, what if Camel Moon drew and colored all that, or now we're gonna have to get him in here because uh, that's fucking cool, man. Are, I you know still, are you watching right now, Camel Moon? I was gonna say he can be a guest on the Jack Show. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we could just play. Well, we could probably play probably play the old Space Ghost too, right? So that. Yeah, we could have a Camel Moon night. I think he deserves it. I mean, he'll, come, he'll come on right now. I'm gonna send him the link. Hold on. Oh, he's in there. Yeah, nice. yeah, he says it. Yeah, he'll come on now. All right, hold on. I'll 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 send you the invite. Oh, hold on. This is not the way to do it. 
Yeah, he made me fucking cool. I got zero complaints, man. I, I teleport like out of there. <laughs> like Ethan's got weird shoes. Cecil's head is like spinning around, but I'm fucking like a disembodied wolf, like teleporting, um, and being an all around badass. Well, Cecil had a peach behind him, which I'm not in support of. Oh, was it? I'll show Peaches so he'll he'll be happy. He got a shout out. Yeah, we need to get Anna in there. Why isn't Anna in there? Because oh, uh, Chelsea came and got me. Yeah, probably pulling more from Ethan's show, I guess, than Jack's show. I don't know when when we talked about that stuff. Well, the next Jack show you did. Uh... It's my week this time, unless Kelsey comes. No, but I, I was planning on doing it about Star Wars and. Cecil, since we always do Star Trek trivia, I figured when it's on my channel, since, uh, sorry guys, I don't think any of you guys would beat me at Star Wars trivia. I'll do it. Star Wars trivia on my week. I'll yeah. beat you. I'll beat you at Star Trek trivia. No, you won't. Who was, who was the planet that was like, you had to, you had to sacrifice and then none of the people had sex, but what check off and that hot blonde chick were having sex and it taught them to have a sex. <laughs> what was the name of the, of the uh hey what's up count moon hold on hey can you hear me yeah i can hear you but i'm grilling anna all right let me just put my uh mic on hold on one sec yeah you can well, well, see so what are you talking about that was an episode where they have like, name uh, the one where there's the snake god no it's a god it's a guy i want to know what the name of the god is isn't it vol all right you know your shit Hello. Yeah, I fucking do. Uh, hello, sir. Good uh, job. Uh, you know, so here's the problem. My, uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I got what too many things going on. Shut your other shit off now. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just you're I'm a doing. fucking prime time. This is Cecil says. This is where fucking legends are made and fucking pretenders die. It's time. <laughs> so then why are you here? Hmm. I live and die on a daily basis, my friend. <laughs> we are all fucking thrilled with this new incarnation of the... Uh, this is fucking fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you guys like it. I've had a couple people say they don't like the designs as much. No, but no. It's great. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I think it's... all You know, you got to get used to it. And after three episodes of the Space Ghost stuff, even though they were kind of parodies, I think a lot of people were like, oh, I... I want to see that again or be yeah. a bit closer to it, but you know, it's a few more episodes and you'll just be used to it. Yeah, I yeah. think so. I'm going to play it again while you're here. We, we're going to stop it whenever John has a question. John, yeah. okay. First of all, hold on, before you even go, like all these backdrops, are you drawing those and coloring them? Like what's kind of the process with that? every single aspect of it uh, is a hundred percent done by me. Wow. Uh, except for the music. This time I purchased the music so I can't have, um, God, what's that blue-haired troll? Gender face? Ren. Uh, Ren. Yeah, yeah. She tried to cancel me like a week or two ago. And it was just kind of idiotic. But oh. uh, she was trying to say something about... Well, there were a lot of idiotic morons on Twitter that were just kind of, I don't know, bouncing a lot of bullshit around. But uh, <laughs> So I bought the music. Um, so now I have the rights to it. So I can use it any way I see fit. All right. Are we going to be able to play it on our channels without getting struck, or how does that Yeah, work? absolutely. I mean, unless I want to do something about it, but I won't. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I, I love it, but I want to let John be the voice of the critic here. You know no, I mean? no, 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 you don't have to be critical, but if you have questions, I will stop it. Yeah. Well, that was the big one. But yeah, go ahead. Play it. I have a question. <laughs> that was fast. This is the spaceship that we're all on. Yeah, yeah, it's like a space frog thing, and you're you're in the mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like yeah, the the bridge is in here. Yeah, it's sort of like it's kind of like Star Trek, but like really much stupider. <laughs> yeah, it's like Rob Zombie <laughs> stuff going on here. Look at that effect. Well, there's That's an episode cool. of Star Trek where the ship is alive. You know, I don't know anything about Star Trek. Uh, well, so Star Wars. Episode, uh, about in the next gen with Deanna, and there's uh, this guy, I guess Betazoids are not born with uh, their abilities. And so this guy was, so he's super weird. And he's connected to this ship that's from this ancient 
civilization and it's the last one. And so the ship is alive and the people that I guess used to be telepathic and communicate directly with the ship. So he goes and leaves everyone to go be with this ship before the Romulans destroy it. Yeah, and, I didn't do that. And I remember when that kid and it was everybody in the colony died except for him and they brought him onto the uh Yeah, with Charlie with X. Charlie X. And oh. and he wanted to bang the shit out of uh what was that? Yeoman uh Janice. Yeah, Yeoman Janice. That's right. Back back on topic for a second. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what's that reference to? Hail Salad. Oh, I'm actually glad someone asked. Okay, so it's sort of a composite of a lot of things. So it's sort of the Hail Caesar thing, and then it's sort of a Caesar salad. Caesar but, salad. Okay. but also uh, word salad. And for those of you who don't know, word salad is where you take a bunch of things that don't really make sense and you try to make sense of it. So okay. this title also, I always try to find titles that uh, you can Google and you'll have Apple absolutely no opposition for. So this way, when you Google it, it'll be the only hail salad that you see. Nice. Oh my fucking god, Cecil, you just ruined his explanation by showing banners of trolling comments. You just ruined his perfectly good example. When do we get uh, a, a version of Anna on here? When she's funny. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck was that for? <laughs> no, no, I, I put you on the first one. Um, and then really it's just because you're not on Ethan's show that often. So yeah. I just try to work with what I have. Yeah. So you're mainly pulling from Ethan's channel for these. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cause you know, cause I make him the main star, right? So it's easier to kind of work around, you know, whatever it is that he's saying. First, right. you gotta, you listen, you're on Cecil says, you gotta be nice to Anna. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not going to have fucking people be an asshole to a guest of mine. I'm sorry. Okay, well, what? Well, I'm the guest. Um, can you get the banners off, Cecil? Hold on. He's the only one on camera, and you got the banners right over his freaking face. All right, sorry. Just, I felt like people needed to see this one. Oh my God, Cecil! All right, why don't you turn the volume down and well, I'll let you play? I'm trying to fucking play the thing, John, but you keep making it about you. Volume, yeah, put the volume down because we've already heard all all the stuff. Let's see what. Uh... I right, I'm gonna stop here because I like that. App. My name is huge. <laughs> Your name's only five letters. I thought. <laughs> what? Hello. Uh, <laughs> this is the best part so far. John was bigger than Cecil. Was only three letters. Yeah, I feel like that. Yeah, that's something you need to fix for the next episode. John is huge. Yeah, taller, not wider, though. Why? Like, yeah, John, John has got a point. You got to fix that. He he must be much smaller. No. <laughs> Thank you, John. Putting that out. Fix that. <laughs> Okay, let's stop here. Okay. Ethan did not have a problem with the face <laughs> or the body, but iridescent platforms. <laughs> this Give us yeah. the thought process on the on the design here from head to okay, toe. Okay, stay there. Just stay there for one second. Oh, I thought he was going to be wearing those shoes. I know. Oh, my God, he has them. Oh, close. Yeah. So that's what I based those off of. Okay. And then to definitely get the iridescent vibe. Yeah. And uh, what is that? Mohawk and devil horns? Uh, what I gave him a mohawk, but then he has like a like a wreath. Oh, Caesar. 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 Okay. A 
All right. Hey, everyone. Happy uh, 1135 p.m. at night. Uh, happy to be with you. I am uh, Ethan Van Skyver. How are you doing tonight, John? How many people- God damn it, Cecil. Are you trying to talk over me every time I say something? Stop yelling at me, John. Now he thinks he's cool. Yeah, allegedly. Cecil, you sound like shit. Woke up today. I, this is the first night I didn't fever, so I'm like, all right, I think it's done. Did you have Saturday night fever? Is, is Cecil, pause it on some of these shots, so because uh, I want to see what's in the background on you, and what is that like a cerebus or something behind me? Uh, well, you, yeah, I made you a cerebus, and then I made the the middle part. You know, I just like turned that into a hologram, so that'd be more interesting. Okay, so there's the peach on the left. Oh, that's that's his butt. He's like a centipede. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, go oh. back. Yeah, go back to you, Cecil. Sound like shit. Woke up today. Yeah. Night, I didn't fever. So I'm like, is that, is that, is that, is that peaches right there? That's well, that's your, your it's like. Oh, that, that, oh, I got many legs. I'm very long. Yeah, yeah. You're You'll see that in another episode. Cecil peed. Oh, I didn't yeah. catch that. I, didn't, I thought I was like a, a mantis. No, you're, you're some type of bug. Right, it's done. Did you Hopefully have we'll see you in, in full body in the next one. Yeah. I think I, sometimes I have jungle fever. My time was Saturday night fever, uh, break into electric boogaloo, uh, and uh, the way we work. Right here. Oh. Uh, let, let, let's see what's going on here in this scene. So, all right. So there's a two-headed dog. What, yeah. what are the mechanical things going on here? One, one is a projector for that hologram? It's a three-headed dog, but one of them is a hologram. Oh, the okay. The third head is a hologram. You're, part of, yeah, you're part of the service. Order here. Oh, there's a taco there. Wacko taco drive through. Nice. Yeah, I just like added what I assumed would be because I know how you like tacos. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. like, I'll just make like a, a drive through in your little, you know, cage area. But I had to make up the tacos because obviously I'm not going to use Taco Bell. Nice. All right, go ahead, Cecil. The way we were, what the fuck are you talking about? Shattered pictures, smiles we gave to one another for the way we were. <laughs> no male child on our well, not, but few, uh, 10% top of male children born in 1974 who are into Bible Streisand and the way we were. Why can't you do it? Pause, pause, pause. pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, pause it. This motherfucker, I swear to God. I'm tired of getting yelled at. Okay, so why a foot for Doug or Smugless? Because he's, because you know, Bigfoot Bill. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, let's see, he's got a bat wing. One of his toes is a hand. Oh, yeah. I put a little hand up there in case I need to make him hold something in another episode. Oh. You didn't want him to have two? Just got to have some dexterity. He's yeah, I mean, I don't know. He's, yeah. And he has a nice He's... belly button butthole thing. Yeah, and he just shits all the time. Like, what's with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it worked. Now, it's where right. is he? Is he in the mouth of a monster here? I kind of imagine the entire thing is like the, the belly of the the cyber frog, you know, the, the spaceship thing. So, oh, so he's on board with us. Yeah. 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 He's in the digestive system. Like a tapeworm. Uh, yeah. Which is love everyone. Yeah. 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 I mean, this is the thing. Uh, women have come a long way, but you know what? Men who have decided they're women. Oh yeah. Deserve the right <laughs> to be able to try to compete <laughs> on equal footing as women in women's sports. It's a great time to be a man. Where does it say that men cannot compete in women's hockey or women's basketball or women's rugby? You know, there's, there's too many women in women's sports. It doesn't say it anywhere. And if it does, it's bigoted. Well, sing a song. We will remember. <laughs> whenever we remember. Ed Cecil. Uh, I don't remember where you were. Tell me, would we? Why is it song in your head? Did you watch this movie recently? Uh, no, oh. I had to sing that in, in my gay choir uh, when I was a kid. <laughs> the Mormons made you sing no, that? No, 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 no. School, even worse than that. Second grade, third graders, you know, we had choir, 
And my parents would get really angry because the <laughs> choir teacher was making us sing these kind of sexual. All right, this is better than the Space Ghost one, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, thanks, guys. I, I'm not lying. This is better. Songs. He's also doing the jerk off sign with his hand. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I'm saying this to you, though. You were actually talking about me when you said that. Hmm. <laughs> But you said like he's making the jerk off sign. That was from like back when I tried to do the uh, Indiegogo. Yeah, people are like, "What conversation was this?" And then like uh, Ethan was trying to explain to Zach, "It's like this is, was not a conversation." There's bits of it that were, but yeah, like, there's so then, much that had for from fucking other shit. It's just uh, coming up is where you say something about. Oh God, what do you say? Uh, you say uh, you don't know, play it. I'll tell you where it comes from. He did a lot of great things. But he also filmed women shitting against their will. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is about the guy who sang the Dimmeling song. Oh yeah, uh, this is uh, not James Brown, but um, Johnny Be Good. What the fuck? Yeah, Chuck yeah, yeah. Chuck Berry, Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry did film women taking shits. Yeah. This guy's so smart, and then you're like, oh no, he's not. <laughs> we could all be filming women pooping right now. Why aren't we? Um, no, Daddy, please don't. <laughs> Don't call me daddy, please. Daddy, no. That'll be good. I will watch that. Oh, I don't know what you're looking at. The West needs more children. Have kids, everyone. Yeah, you got to be careful. You know, we stocked up today to uh, <laughs> prepare ourselves for the woo flu. You can't catch coronavirus if you never wash your hands. Guys, come on. You, you think I don't have a plan? John, I'm sick. I have the coronavirus. You don't have the coronavirus. Now, that's definitely from a different fucking stream where I was sick. Yeah, you guys talked about coronavirus in like three different streams, and I think this was actually the first one. I was sick a couple of weeks ago. Where I was, yeah, yeah, like, and then, believe it or not, this episode was supposed to be the fourth Space Ghost episode, so I had a lot of the dialogue cut. And then when mm -hmm. that whole thing, you know, kind of went to shit, I started essentially reworking the characters almost immediately. So, and a lot of the conversation was already there. That's why a lot of the stuff that's in this episode is really from about two weeks ago. Coronavirus. Cool. Don't mock people who do. There are people who are uh, literally shitting blood right now, and you're you're not. You don't need to have the coronavirus to shit blood. Oh shit! All right. Are you scared? You're going to hell, and Jesus doesn't love you. No, don't say that. You don't know how Jesus feels about anything. I know how he feels about me. I'm 100% sure that's his imaginary friend that's been raping him since he was four. And you were talking about... I mean, what was that from? That's not this conversation. No, you were talking about Preston and being the king of Cyan. I actually had drawn Preston, and his name said Pester. <laughs> and then I ended up getting rid of it because it didn't really make sense for this, but the comment still worked. <laughs> I was like, I don't even remember where that was from. Like, that was not a me... A Doug comment, but it's perfect. Why <laughs> uh, your heart? Hold on. Four. <laughs> Very friend that's been raping him since he was four. Why <laughs> uh, you're a hundred percent sure? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jesus came to me one night. He taught me this song that no one else knows. I'll be back. Jesus loves me. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, yeah, boo. Shut the luck, a luck, a bag, bag. Oh, shit. He was holding that in him the entire time. How am I able to do it? <laughs> <laughs> I noticed there was a lot of blood and fucking shit coming. Yeah, that was a fun one. To, uh, to I showed that to my wife, and she's like, this is so disgusting. <laughs> what, what's, in that, what's in that bubble thing to the left? Top right lot, yeah. Uh, I don't know, just a membrane thing oh, okay. I generated, and then on on uh, John on your you know like readout it says VOR because everyone calls you the voice of reason, so that's why oh. I put oh. it the VOR systems. <laughs> Sweet, <laughs> love it. Yeah, great stuff, man. <laughs> uh, yes, this is from when we were reading. Bless this mess. <laughs> oh yeah, I watched that over and over, and I was like, I just started. I would edit, and then I'd start laughing. I would fall over in my chair, and I was like, oh, I got to use this somehow. All right, and up there on that top shelf, there's uh, looks like two teachers. 
What is it? Oh, yeah. Go back to this. There's a lot going on in the Cecil shot. Uh, so, like, way in the background is the, the coin that, that some EVS fan made. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I put peaches up there rotting. Um, and then there's, some, there's some booze. Uh, and I had some other stuff, but I took it down because it, I didn't want it to. Oh, I have, like, some Roman pillars. Um, but, yeah, in the next episode, you'll see what he looks like, you know, with, like, the bar in front of him. Caesar back here. Awesome. Is this peaches? Or well, is yeah. what is that pe is that just some kind of alien nondescript thing that the peaches are sitting on? It's just fungus. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the way we were. I didn't get it. Oh, uh, that was psych psychedelic at the end there. Yeah, that's great work, man. I yeah, gotta, thank now you. Now you're going to end up doing another crowdfund, right? Uh, well, you know, I, I got to see exactly what I think is going to be successful. Um, I think what I might do this time is wait till I'm uh, maybe like at least 10 or 12 episodes in before I offer a Blu-ray or anything like that. Yeah, it, I would say get We'll get people hooked because we'll play every fucking one of these. Things. Yeah. I mean, that'd be awesome. So what I think I might do is uh, right now they have to review it for a uh, subscribe star. So if you guys want to see more episodes and then you give, if I can make like, it's a lot, but if I can make like a thousand a month off of these, then I can just do it full time. Mm. If I could speak for Anna, she would have to say more Anna. What? Yeah. Yeah. Anna would, Anna would need to share it though. And Anna, Wait, so <laughs> it was the rule. Wait, hold on. Let me just. So you would need a thousand dollars a month to do this full time. Yeah. Okay. So basically, twelve thousand a year. How much? How many videos would that be? That would be uh, two a month, so twenty four. Twenty four videos. Thousand. Okay. All right. Good to know. Yeah. I don't know if that's. Uh, you know. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna get canceled if we play this. <laughs> Why? So what happened with these ones? No, we played. We played. So, yeah, and uh, you might not know, but like I tried to do an Indiegogo for this, and yeah, really, it did I, well. But you know, at some point, uh, it got taken down. I got a cease and desist by Warner Brothers by way of Hanna Barbera. I actually framed uh, <laughs> the cease and desist because it was kind of a badge of honor. Hey, Anna, how are you? No, this is this is the one Anna liked probably the best. That's probably the one she's in, right? Thank you to everyone for sharing this story. Hey, Anna, how are you? Good. I am sick of this shit. Oh, uh, Cecil, have you been drinking? Yes. All right, so let's talk about this. I just love how angry Cecil is. Yeah, I, uh, I, you know, Cecil's sobriety was kind of tough, but now I miss it. Your liver is the only organ that will grow back. I don't think your liver grows back. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I'm just kind of a scientist, so maybe it's quiet. Well, I mean, I will. Okay. Cecil, where are you? He's probably getting ice. Why is Cecil always interrupting my show with his I bullshit? was getting ice. That's how well I knew Cecil. I knew exactly what he was doing. How do you feel about that, Cecil? You know, that's what it means. It means you're fired, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, we're going to push forward through gritted teeth. What do you think about that, John Mallon? Sorry, I'd be on cameras that my cat is uh ruining everybody. Aww. He's gonna be he's gonna be opening for Lizzo. I mean, I don't understand why the, why there's so much infighting. Uh, am I the only one who gets along with everybody? Am I the only one who's like every time we're not talking about cash grab that I'm thinking why aren't we talking about cash grab? Uh, I would love to see uh, a calendar like this about you. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to but me and that outfit would look much bigger. Are there, are there penis in my face there? I don't know. Are there? Uh, maybe. What I'm you know. saying is, I don't, there's no short shrift on nipple hair, which yeah. I've been with a lot of inferior products today. Cecil, I got to tell you something. Uh, 
I'm so happy with the amount of detail that you pour into your work. <laughs> People who say no penis is in, in the chest hair, I say, I will fucking choke you out. Shut up. And if you die, so be it. Oh, that was good. I think you need more of like. I think we're going to pauses. The angry junk Cecil is kind of hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was evil, Cecil. I mean, that's that why that was the funny so thing. Bad. You, John, and Ethan loved evil Cecil, but the hate mail that came in for evil Cecil, like, <laughs> even Ethan was like, uh, he, he was like, I loved it. You guys loved it, but like, people didn't know. I was like, shut the fuck up, Anna. And people were like, you know what? You don't get to talk to her like that, you fucking ass. I'm like, I was joking. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, yeah, a lot of people like didn't get that. Mods on the Jack show, like, insults are a thing. Don't don't get too offended. Uh, no, people did not get it. I got, like, my mm -hmm. fucking email was full of, like, hey, I was going to support you, but I saw the way we were yelling at John Mallon the other night. <laughs> 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 and you know, I was a woman, and you told her to go fuck herself. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I thought that was our funniest show ever, but fucking, you know, yeah, it was. a lot of people did not get it over the top. That's why it's great. Yeah. Uh, no, dude, if you want, like, there's a lot of, I mean, especially on my channel, a lot of Jack show streams that are private. I'll download them and email them to you so you can have the audio. Yeah, that would be great, actually, because I remember I wanted to do, I don't remember what it was, but I was looking at doing the whole piecel thing, oh, okay. and I couldn't find it, and I was like, I, well, I, I can't do anything. I think that's on Ethan's channel. I don't think that's on mine. Me and Anna, Anna, you have some good where me and you are going back. And yeah. Back. You could just give that to him. You'll have like- I'll send you the Christmas Eve one. That one is just me and Cecil, but that one has the Henry Cavill in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'll have to take a, a, you know, I have to listen to yeah, it all the way through and kind of like that. gauge where I think the jokes are, you know. The mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the Christmas Eve one with me and Anna has like a fucking mountain of shit in there because it's her fucking arguing how she will fuck George Lucas over Henry Cavill and me screaming at her. <laughs> I mean, it might be for good animation. Yeah, it's good because I'm like, even a retarded Henry. Cavill will be a better lay than fucking 70 year old George Lucas and she's saying like no no yeah. <laughs> super yeah. with crossed eyes. Because it was Christmas Eve so we wanted to keep it in the spirit of the season yeah so let's talk the Anna design what, uh, what are you thinking what are you thinking William uh, also I just want to say I'll just put it out there it's really nice to meet you uh, John and it's nice to meet you too uh, Anna and yeah, Cecil you know, we've, we've, we've met before and I'm I'm, I'm Super happy with this, and, and I was uh, a supporter of the last campaign. And whatever you're doing next, I will support. Yeah, uh, the uh, episode that I was on, the one that got taken down, was the one with the uh, Lady Gaga egg. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I got Ethan's channel struck with that one. Um, but anyway, to answer your question, John, uh, I'm thinking it'll be kind of like a, uh, a like sort of an alien slave Leia kind of thing. Um, mm. Perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, not exactly, but definitely have plenty of homage to it. I'll make you very sexy, and uh, but definitely an alien. Like there's gonna yeah, be yeah, your no... face to be hideous. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't need hate mail too. I'll make her as good looking as I can. <laughs> no, I think it's funny. You can go as crazy as you want. <laughs> yeah. Make her make her really pretty, but one foot because diabetes took one of her. Feet. Uh, <laughs> Oh God, I don't oh, yeah, you can do so much with that webbed webbed feet, um, webbed, yeah. one webbed foot, and no foot on the other leg. And then I got to come up with something for Zach. I was thinking Zach. of making him just a hand. Oh. oh my God, like thing. Yeah, I got to think of something a little bit more creative, but kind of in that area uh, because that's all we ever see of him is his hands. Mm. Make him a lap. A what? A lap. Like a oh a okay. Yeah, yeah. Like two legs and his crotch, but his there's a face on his crotch. <laughs> yeah. Well, Maybe he could be someone that's watching the show. So you, you he could just have something in his lap and then he's talking back and forth through the monitor. Uh the other option too is I was thinking of making him just like a, a space G.I. Joe, but he would have the scalps oh, of a bunch shit. of SJWs. Oh, that's cool. 
So we'd have like a red hair, a blue hair, a rainbow hair as all of the you know oh, the people. Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's those are the options. I gotta you know I'm most likely gonna use the stream that uh, you guys did with Ethan tonight as the next episode. So I oh, gotta okay. cut it up and see how it works. There's a lot of shit from tonight. <laughs> I could get four episodes from tonight. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, well hung and dung for two pounds says do Anna as a sexy ET. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, he's about the same height as me. All right, let's finish this one out. Hold on. Is if Cecil's behavior is outrageous right now? In what way am I outrageous for for what? For recognizing my own genius? Okay, <laughs> sorry, Anna. I'm I'm sorry for this. I'm gonna ask you to try to relate to me for one moment. I've spent my life as an unrecognized genius and to be all I've ever wanted to be is a recognized idiot. I didn't know about it. I you know, nobody's nobody's nobody told me about that. Yeah, including you, Cecil. You didn't tell anybody. How uncalled for. It was like the fucking Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> The Holocaust. Uh, uh, so that was the line, and later on in the episode, you actually refer to Smugless as Zorak, and that's what put the whole idea in my head. Oh man, that was so perfect. I hate I hate that we lost that. Uh yeah. No. I said You know, the Holocaust, Cecil, you don't want to compare Cecil. You don't want to compare the death. <clears throat> of uh, millions of people to you getting $71,000. I don't. I'm not trying to mansplain. I'm just saying that like one was uh, a tragedy that will be remembered and mourned over for a thousand years and you're, you did, you made $71,000 on a comic book. <laughs> Do you ever shut up? <laughs> it makes me want to fucking puke. Go ahead. Uh, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Uh, you know, surprise, surprise! Everyone's against me. <laughs> John, what did you think of that beautiful artwork? Anna, with all due respect, shut up. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit! Yeah, I, these are all great. That was your fucking uh, Mona Lisa, right? <laughs> I hope I could do better than that at some point. But, but I like the one you put out today. It was great. Uh, was... Oh, the new one? Hell yeah, man. I want to do yeah. drugs and watch it. That's That was what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. I want to make like six of them, and then you could binge watch all of them while on shrooms. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to do fucking like arrogant asshole Cecil for like the whole campaign. And the <laughs> The reaction was so fucking negative. <laughs> like I had my entire email was like, fuck you. You don't talk to fucking people that way. You're a fucking asshole. I was a fan of yours until tonight. I was like, oh, oh shit. My God. Yeah, oh, me, funny. A lot of people didn't get get it. Let me ask you, how did you feel about the uh the stripper story? Um the, with, with the broken Yeah, where I made your your explanation into a rap. <laughs> I mean, that was a story I probably shouldn't have told, but I was okay with it. <laughs> I just told it. Was that where I got the gift of this fucking picture? Yeah, you I threw it. Oh my, yeah. The, yeah. I, there's no way my I can never explain my life without looking like an asshole. Hmm. I'm not an asshole. I'm a nice guy. But still, I had to fucking leave a mountain today because of fucking coronavirus. Where's my parade? It's coming. Wait. Everybody's like, hey, people over 85 have like a 99% chance of dying. But it's like, hi, some people under 50 can fucking lose their fucking ski privileges for a week. Cecil, did we do the Christmas Eve stream on your channel? I think that was on your channel. I thought so too, but it's not here. All right, let me look. Did I just take it down? Is that something I did? Hold on. 
Is is uh, Doomcock still going? I mean, oh, they got thirteen hundred people over on Doomcock's channel. Don't look over there. They got no fucking Camel Moon. Right. They should have fucking pittance next. Are those time. action figures behind you? Me? No. Cecil, you have a wall behind you. Yeah. He has a ficus behind him. He has a ficus. The aliens. Okay. What was I looking for, Anna? I'm sorry. The Christmas Eve stream. I think it was on your channel. Yeah, I got a lot of action figures. Nice. Yeah. This is actually a set from the... I used to do a show on DoubleToasted.com. And uh, and then I did a show on CamelMoon.com. And then I kind of stopped doing it. I kind of wanted to get out of the opinion game because I'm just like... I'm tired of reductionist video essays and film reviews. So um, I was like, I'll start doing animation. At least I can make what I want to make. There you go. Yeah. And uh, I did I did a stream the day after Christmas, Jack Show. Just FYI. So No, I, I think it must have been on your channel, Cecil, because I couldn't really stream because I was on my iPad. No, uh, hold on a second. I'm going to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to go to live stream. It was a live stream, right? It was a live stream. Obviously, we don't do video. I tried it. Hold on, live. And this, what, what date was uh, Christmas Eve this year? Really? <laughs> Friday the 13th. Hold on, December 22nd. December 25th. Oh, oh yeah, God. that was I probably know. a good stream. The Friday the Friday the Thursday. Is that it? We did four hours together. All right, let's yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, this is it. I know. Oh shit! I always thought that was on your channel. No, it was on yours. Well, let's let's uh let's uh how the fuck do I play this? I don't. I don't. Just download it and send it to him. Because we del or put it on private for a reason. I don't remember what it was, but. Don't worry about your problems. Don't worry about your past. So what you're trying to say is play it. It's almost five hours long, but play it now. Yeah, let's EFAP it. Well, I think it's because I was kind of bitching at my uncle because he was an asshole to my dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 right, yeah. And I was like, I don't want my, for some Random. Yeah, you were shooting all over family. So, but we still got almost ten thousand views on that. Most. Well, what else are people gonna do on Christmas Eve slash Christmas? Yeah, this was right. immediately canceled. Let's let's just stay here. You're probably not making fun of your uncle right now. Weird thing is, my uh, high school boyfriend broke up with me because that's uh, too much information. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bombshell. Um. I told him I broke my hymen on a mechanical bull, but he didn't go with me. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much. I, this is the reason this stream was taken down. Yeah, All right, you're killing me, Cecil. We're done. We're done on memory that's, lane. That's a true story, by the way. I got dreams. All right, yeah, bring it up. All right I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you the link. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll take a listen. And there, there, there's. I mean, we just dropped in at one minute, a uh, one second, and we got a broken hymen story from me. <laughs> and she's like, "All right, like, come on, come out here, like, I'll get you." What's your uh, favorite bathroom? Uh, I, I'm oh, Phil, the, sorry. I, I actually like the Dark Knight Rises a lot. Mm. Are you uh, looking forward to the uh, Robert Patterson? Wait, it, dark, wait, Dark Knight Rises is the Bane one, right? Yeah, I like Bane. It was always my that's, favorite. That's my favorite. That's my favorite one. Also, that's yeah. I was twelve when he got his back broken. So ever since then, I'm just like I just I'll, I'll relive Nightfall over and over every year. I'll reread it. Wow. Uh, and uh, you know, Batman '89. It's kind of hard to beat that. But uh, am I interested in the new one? Uh, I just realized, looking at this, I'm wearing. I don't do that. That's not. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> literally just shit I threw on for this. Yeah, show. I was like, this guy loves Batman. So yeah, I do, about. but I, it's not like I don't walk mm -hmm. around like this. Um, and but for the Pattinson one, I wasn't really excited because I was like, I don't, 
I don't know, kind of Batmaned out. But mm. when I saw the car, I was like, yeah, that's it's a different direction, and I appreciate that they're trying to do something different. I don't want to see another big stupid rock tumbler thing. So yeah, we'll see I got to go. pee. The three of you got to entertain people. All right. All right. Take uh, off. You know what? I'll hold it. Never mind. You won't be able to do it. You'll get a you guy. <laughs> We were too enthusiastic. Let's do a refresh. No one can see what you're refreshing. Oh, well, you missed the dramatics. He went up two thousand dollars. Who did? Ethan just went. I was at, he was at three twenty one. Now he's at three twenty three. Now I'm sure it's not going to be as dramatic, but I'm sure this is going to be pretty good. It's going to be a big because jump. People fuck. Like, let's go. One forty like, people. Oh, it moved. Oh my god, my lungs are so happy it moved an inch. Yeah. I'll be, I, when I take a pee, I'll come back and double check. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm holding off on judgments for the new Batman. I'll wait for a trailer to come along. Yeah, yeah. one thing I could say is I think the new song sucks. The new what? The you know that that theme song they they play on loop. It's a, they have it on YouTube. It's only like one or two uh, I don't know notes, I guess, but it's just it sounds really kind of boring. Oh, I didn't know they had anything out. It's really, it's really like I mean, you know, you're gonna go to YouTube, you're gonna find four hundred thousand likes because, of course, people are gonna hive mind think about how much they pretend to love it. But really, I don't think it's very interesting. What should I look up? Batman theme? Yeah. And, and this is a uh, a new one for the new movie. Yeah, I, they released it around the time they released his suit. Oh, one month ago. Okay, Batman yeah. theme extended by Michael Giacchino. Okay, I'll I'll check that out at a later date. Yeah, I was unaware. I mean, it. I mean, you know, it's it's really short, so maybe it it turns into something amazing. But from what I've heard, it's just kind of ho hum. Oh, I have it playing right now. You guys can't hear it. Congratulations. Sounds a little David Lynch. Yeah, and then it just repeats. It doesn't. It doesn't like kick into another gear or anything. Well, I could be on purpose. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I mean, but I can only, I can only go off of what I've been told right now. Right. So. I can only assume without me here, this was fucking painful. So what I'm going to do is tell a joke. Oh, good. So this guy, he's at a bar and he's fucking boozing it up. It's getting late. And uh, he's getting sick. He's starting to fucking drink himself silly. And uh, he pukes all over his own fucking the front of his shirt. And he's like, I'm a dead man. And when I get home, my wife is going to kill me. The bartender grabbed him and said, here's what you do. You put a $10 fucking bill in the front pocket of that shirt. When you get home, your wife's gonna yell at you because you came in with a with a fucking puke stained shirt, and you go, "No, this drunk came up to me, and he puked on my shirt. It felt so bad, he gave me ten dollars for the dry cleaning." So that's just what he does. He goes home. Yeah, you're hearing this joke again. Fuck you, Lincoln. <laughs> I haven't heard it, so just tell it. So he goes home. He goes home. And the wife fucking answers him at the door. She's like, you're covered in puke. You're fucking... She's like, no, 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 no. This guy, he was drunk. He puked on my shirt. He, he gave me $10 for the dry cleaning. She pulls the money out and she goes, there's $20 here. And he goes, yeah, but he also shit in my pants. Oh, my God. You dumbass. Thank you, William. Do it again. <laughs> How dare you? All right. So I finished listening to it. So yeah, it reminds me of uh, like uh, something you'd hear on like Lost Highway from uh, David Lynch, or or and uh, kind of the theme from Twenty Eight Days Later, where it's that Ooh. real note and it yeah, just keeps building that. and building. So I, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't say I love it yet, but I like it. I want to see what it builds to. Mm hmm. You know. Yeah, could be a good movie. What movie? I mean, I'm sure it'll make us, you know, fucking zillion dollars. Oh, are we still talking about Batman? Yeah. yeah. 
Well, it might if there's movie theaters to go to when it comes did out. Anybody, like this. Did anybody I, see? I never watched any of the Twilight movies. I never saw a minute of them. Right. Everybody, yeah. everybody hates that guy for that shit. But no, I, know, I, hate him. I don't hate him because I never. Saw him. Him but watch the movie Good Time. Anybody see the movie Good Time? No. <sighs> Does he play a gay man? No, he plays no. A, a kid from Queens, and as a New Yorker, I would say if you oh, fucking, brother. I'm saying for a guy from England, I would fuck it. I mean, let me see, like, yeah, kind of, you fuck him. We got it. Then no, I and I wouldn't fuck him, John. That's so something. that's what you said. No, I would suck his cock. I wouldn't. Oh. Nothing gay about that. Yeah, right. give me a break, John. I'm sick of this shit. Let me see. Can I, can I play a, a, the trailer for that without getting in trouble? Or will I get in trouble? Probably get it on the live stream. Good times? You can't play trailers on live streams? I don't I don't know. I wouldn't risk it, though. I wouldn't do that. Or I could do 10 seconds at a time. Yeah. It's all right. We'll blame it on uh, Camel Moon if it happens. Anything yeah. That'll make him legend. Be like, yeah. I was on the stream that Cecil lost his. Uh, What's stream? the difference? I can. I'm only making. <laughs> I beg for fucking new new blood. And I get what ten dollars at a time. It's. It would be a. Bl it would be a mitzvah, if I was to be the platform at this time. Good time. No, not good times. The good times is with JJ Walker and uh, and Janet Jackson. Good time trailer. That's what I want. Here we go. I, this is the only movie I've ever seen this fucker guy in, and it's the uh, Safty brothers who did uh, the movie with, uh, what's his name, uh, Adam Sandler, uh, Uncut Gems. These are the guys who did that movie. This is fucking a great, I, I actually, this is a great movie, man. I, it's on Prime for free right now, by the way. You're totally going to get shut down. <laughs> You sure? I'll do 10 seconds at a time. Yeah, you're, it's going to be just yeah. like the Lady Gaga thing. You're incredible. Do you understand? There's Batman right there. And? Yeah. I'm serious. He, that's Batman? Yeah, that's Robert Patton. He looks more like, uh, oh my God, with Colin Farrell. He has a retarded brother, and they decided to do a, a bank robbery together, which if you have a retarded brother, don't do a bank robbery with him. I'm gonna do three second stops. Am I gonna get a struck on this incel, Johnny? You feeling this? Nah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, the late. Don't do it. People are saying I'm saying this is a good. See this movie. It's called Good Time. It's on Prime. And it's the only movie I ever saw this guy in, and I'm like, this guy will be a fucking great Batman. Oh, Amazon Prime. Yeah, I'm cold. Cold? Yeah, yeah I'm cold. That was bad acting. The kid, no, the kid who's playing the retarded brother is. Oh, the, okay, no, that's good acting, though. He's the director of the movie, and oh. he's really good. He's good as a retard. <laughs> he's doing a little Stallone. <laughs> And here's my thing. Robert Patton, what's his name? Pattinson? Pattinson? Pattinson. He's so good looking that everybody looks like a retard next to him. He's got a problem. Just keep your head down. Turn around. He's all right. We didn't talk to him. Anyway, it's a, it's a chase movie. It's a crime movie. Hmm. It's really fucking good. It's oh, really that dude dies? Spoiler. I'm not gonna say shit. I'm not gonna say nothing. Oh. This is from the trailer. Excellent fucking go check. Go check this movie out. Fucking really good movie. Well, you shouldn't be wearing a hoodie in New York. That's the only thing I saw. Anybody the in the hoodie, chat? Right? Anybody yeah. see this movie? Anybody? No. Negative. Sure I'll, I'll, I'll check it out though if it's on Prime. Cecil sounds gay for Robert Pattinson. A little bit. Yeah, not, a little bit. What? I, I'm I'm not gay for him. I'm just, I would I would suck his cock. Right, right. It's like I, think that's the the I don't mean in a gay way, but in like a good job in that movie way. Not gay, not gay. Like a pat on the back kind of way. 
Yeah, like hey, add a boy. Yeah, good job. If uh, <laughs> five if, bucks. If we brought William into the Jack show and got rid of the K and kept the E for Ethan, it would be Jakku. Oh. Oh, God. Wait, yeah. I, I know what I could play for that. Jakku? Yeah. You can stop me. I'm a Jedi from Jakku. She's a Jedi from Jakku. Yeah, it's just not spelled the same, but... Is she making that up as she goes along? She no, is. hell no. That was a long ass rap, too, man. Oh, she like rapped rapped two minutes. Multiple, multiple takes in front of no studio audience for her to get two rhymes. She was wonderful. She probably practiced oh. for a week. <laughs> Who's the, who? Honestly, if you had a, if you had to list Jedi's in order of who's the best Jedi, who would you list? And that's Star Wars. Girl. I'll give you deference because you're a Star Wars fan. But obviously, Ray top. Then who? <laughs> <laughs> who's the best Jedi? And you want to put Ray on top? It's Mace. Okay, fuck it. Uh, you remember in Episode Three when Anakin goes into the room and there's all those little kids, and then the one little. A little boy comes out. And he's like, "Master Skywalker, what am I?" Oh doing? yeah, he's he's definitely right under Ray. Like they are the same level. What are you talking about? Those guys got killed by fucking Anakin. Ray. Yes, it's, it's okay for a Jedi to get killed by a Sith. Then they're a bad Jedi. Oh my God, they're so pathetic next to fucking Ray. Yeah. Ray, well, who's like Ray, the Ray, best Ray, Jedi? Ray lightning shot fucking spaceships out of the sky with her hand. Wait, what? Oh, she did it? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. <laughs> oh, the new one? I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, you're right. When she thinks she kills Chewie. No, no, no. No, no. no uh, at the end of the movie, when 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 fucking she's fighting the the Emperor, she shoots fucking lightning into the sky. He uses the lightsaber to deflect his lightning into the sky. Oh. Anyway, Ray's the best. And who's the second? If you were going to say who is everything, Ray number one, and after that, it's up for debate. <laughs> Who's number two? Would you say uh, Anakin or uh, Luke or Yoda? Yoda. And then who? Quinn Jai. Quinn? Yoda's a quitter. Yoda had, you know, he could have taken Palpatine down and then what? he just gives up and he fucking he's hightails at the end of. Yeah, uh, you know what? Ray gave up too. Ray was just on a planet her entire life. She could have gotten yeah. on a ship and gone and looked for her parents, but she went and hid on a planet. Guess who else did that? Anakin. Yoda. Yeah. Anakin okay. did that. And, uh, uh, if you hate women, just say you hate women. You don't have to fucking use Ray as a fucking surrogate. The Jedi is a long line of quitters. Mm. Almost all of them. Well, I, I think, uh, like, just Jedi that you actually kind of care about, and like, not counting Luke, I'd probably say Qui-Gon is, uh, like, the brief time we know him, like, great presence, and the other one is, uh, and he's not a Jedi, but Donnie Yen. Mm, yeah, I like Qui-Gon, and I like mm -hmm. Mace. I think Mace is badass. I like Donnie Wahlberg also, John. What? You like Donnie what? Wahlberg. Donnie Wahlberg. <laughs> So Donnie Yen, Donnie Yen, oh. he's not a real Jedi, but he's a Jedi wannabe, and he might have been using the Force at the end of that movie. I'm like Princess Leia's height. I don't know what uh, I don't not a nerd. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I've all the ones to pick that one. I could pick another one, and I can just get laid the entire time. God damn it, Cecil! I make funny Kelsey ones. And I can just get laid the entire time. Oh you can't God, use that for Kelsey? What is this thing called sex? And I gotta try it. And what? Wait, what are we talking about? Oh my God, I just, I meant to fucking hell. Again, I am. Remember, Anna, when you can drive a man crazy like that? Now you're worried. Yeah, now, now you're worried I'm going to steal your boots. I'm talking to the lady. 
That Can was you send me a this? lot of alcohol. I'm fucking drinking. Oh, this is the very first Jack show. Yeah. yeah. The entire thing. <laughs> Malin, my God, Malin, I'm talking to the lady. <laughs> so, the very first jack show i have well, uh, technically it wasn't the jack show then because that was when you guys first met i think then probably the next one would have been the jack show or even, maybe even the one after that so we, we should do a full like an efap of that episode yeah it's, it's so dense <laughs> that i, I put the random parts it's just I crazy it. I pulled these clips out in three minutes. I just randomly would drop in and be like, this is what he was saying. What is this thing called sex? And I got to try it. And what? Wait, what are we talking about? Yeah. I didn't do a lot of like hunting. I would just like grab yeah. shit. That's back when Kelsey didn't give a fuck. What happened? Yeah, that's back when Kelsey would show up. Pressure, pressure happened. He's also drawing like 14 books, right? Well, whatever. <laughs> Everybody's got to work, man. That's what? his excuse. Oh, I'm doing a lot of work. Yeah, like he's the only one working around here. William, what's your last name? F. Buckley? We don't need a defense lawyer for fucking... <laughs> Valley and Valley attorney at law. Yeah. Uh, William F. Buckley, I'm fucking representing Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> My client's not here right now. It's probably best if I don't say anything. I'm wow. sick of it. Sick of this shit. I drank way more whiskey than I thought I was going. This is a brand new bottle. So you said earlier. Yeah. Man up, doesn't, Cecil. Doesn't look like it moved at all. I would. <laughs> It'd be funny if Cecil just flipped out and broke that bottle over his desk. I'm not going to break the bottle. Mother I'll take I'll take a swig out of it, but I would I just want to just say, just for the record, if yeah. Anna or you drank this much whiskey, they'd be pumping your stomach at a fucking hospital. Yeah, I'd be dead. And you guys fucking <laughs> laugh it off. Shit, if I drank that much beer, they'd probably be doing that. What about you, William? I like drinking. All right, there we go. We got <laughs> this guy. I got this because this is, the apocalypse is this week. I got extra, two extra bottles. Mm. Be a fun what day. are you doing about coronavirus, William? Uh, I mean, I work at homes. So <laughs> yeah, not, not a whole lot. All right, well, are you stocked up, or what do you, you know? What? what no, what's your I'm not an idiot. <laughs> hmm? Get in line to get fucking toilet paper? No, you don't need toilet paper if you don't eat. Just drink. That's true. I don't understand these people. They're going to get all this toilet paper for months, but they haven't thought about the food aspect. Mm. Right? Well, I, I don't think they've thought about much of anything. There's really. a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. But I think, I don't know, the whole thing is just sort of like disaster capitalism. People try to make a buck off of people's insanity. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, We're people not- are dying. You know, We're sympathetic to that, but and that's fine, but you know what? 700,000 people have died from AIDS. 13,000 die a year from AIDS just in the U.S. alone. William, what do you think about Joe Biden? Will you ever vote for Joe Biden? No, and I'm a liberal. I'm a Democrat. Mm. Well, then I, you agree with, do you agree with this girl? She's a Bernie supporter. I she, like Bernie. I yeah. think he would have been better last term. Now he's a little old. What, what if Bernie is Biden's vice president? Well, here, let, let's hear this girl. She has a plea to the Democrats. Okay. Democrats, please don't make me vote for Joe Biden. Please don't make me vote for Joe Biden. Please don't make me vote for Joe Biden. I don't want to vote for Joe Biden. I thought you were going to play the OK Boomer girl. Mm. You don't know her, do you, William? Uh, not personally, no. Okay. I follow her on Twitter, though. Do you want me to play it again? I feel like that's a dog whistle, and she really does want to vote for Joe Biden. I mean, mm. yeah. also, she doesn't have to vote if she doesn't want. 
was telling her to yeah. go vote for this guy. No, she has to vote. Uh, I don't know. I didn't vote the last election. I sat it out. I didn't yeah. like the fact that Hillary cheated. I was like, fuck this. Yeah. yeah I, I'm pretty sure Trump will win. And you know what? There are more and more people who are moderate, like I've become, who mm -hmm. they don't want anything to do with this election because they see what's happening. They're like, the right. fucking FW psychos are ruining what we thought was our party. And now we feel like, you know, we don't have anyone to turn to. So we're just like, I'm out. They're everywhere, man. Yeah. They're everywhere. What do you think about this clip? Shut that cunt's mouth or I'll come over there and fuck start her head. He's yeah. a nice guy. It's too much. It was, was that the guy who played Anakin? Shut that cunt's mouth or I'll come over there and fuck start her head. No. So. Well, I should have got this guy to play Anakin. Shut that cunt's mouth or I'll come over there and fuck start her head. Who's that in the background? Is that Benicio Del... Shut that cunt's mouth or I'll come over there and fuck start her head. Yeah, I think you're right. That might be him. Hmm. What movie is this from? Shut that cunt's mouth or I'll come over there and fuck start her head. I don't know. It's your clip. How do you not know what movie it is? <laughs> Did you want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get nuts. <laughs> I love how you put all your effects on there to avoid copyrights. You want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get nuts. <laughs> Cecil's a genius. <laughs> That's not from Batman. Wake up, slut! <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite one. I'm as a double. I'm doing nothing wrong. Leave. Fitz, let's go. Fitz, help me! I'm doing nothing wrong. Leave. Fitz, let's go. Fitz, help me! How did she think she was actually going to get away? <laughs> She's stupid. Yeah, well, I guess she could have been drunk or something. Yeah. He's like, all you got to do is leave. And she goes, no. And he pulls out his cuffs and she makes him run for it. <laughs> He's like, yo, you don't got to do shit. All you got to do is leave right now. No. People falling is funny. It always. That's why I'm worried. Why right? I was skiing this weekend. I'm like, I'm. Everybody's got their cameras aimed at me. Mm. They're waiting. <laughs> They're just waiting. They don't know. I'm graceful like a deer. Like Bambi's mom. Yeah. Before our brains got blown out. <laughs> Not that graceful, really. Yeah, I'm good on skis. I'm good. I, I, I can ice skate really well also. People don't realize. Oh, me too. But she's a lot of ice. She's, but I'm very like heavy set. So you're like, like oh, he's a fat, so he's not going to be able to move. But be surprised. I'm very graceful. And on that note, let's end this broadcast. Let's take a look. Hold on. Now that you all fucking, now that I've given enough bragging about my graceful fucking. Let's see what we've done. First of all, let's look at cash grab. All I asked for was $140,000. Is that so much to ask for? Yes, I'm I'm letting people know you're not getting anything, but still, it's the principle of the thing. Holy moly. So close. Fucking P.T. Barnum was right. Now let's check out fucking uh, what, what cyber frog is that. Look at that autofill. How did it enter? We blew past 320. Is that almost 324? Amazing. Anna, wh wh where did you jump in at? Uh, this morning when I woke up, when it was um, around 12,000. What did you buy? This one? No, I bought the Ides of March cover and then uh, 
I'll get the the box a little bit later. I think Cyberfrog's gonna die again. I mean, this seems pretty. It seems like a serious wound. I've seen some wounds in my day. I'm gonna stop right there before I say something disgusting. Uh, but but, but oh wait, I, I might have um, super chats. Hold on a moment. Let me read. Will you guys hold on while I read? That's not a lot. How Try dare you? Uh, trust me, people don't like me. Uh, but, but, but dr drunky McAsshole says, uh, I don't even believe that's his real name. The chicken box is for more is for if you buy more than one book, but does not come in a honeycomb box. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, Barb Rogers, gun girl, ship my comic in a money bag. Will do. B. Carswell says, Cecil, you are welcome here. No corona yet. M.W. says, Peaches is a real provider. Is that true? I mean, I, I don't know. For his child, yes. What about for you? Well, I mean, I take care of myself. I don't want to take care of myself. Will he be able to provide for me? Uh-huh. I don't know. Ask him. I will in Orlando. <laughs> Bean Cardinal says, kisses regardless. I love you, baby. I think that was for you. I think that was for you. I know. I was being kind. Uh, Dacrum says, if you're not dying, you're not trying. Well hung and dung says, do Anna as a sexy ET. You read that one. All right. Well, how do we, how would you be a sexy ET? I don't know. What does Elliot say? What does he say to Elliot? Be good? I don't know. I haven't watched a movie in like 20 years. Well, he says be good. Be good. Say that sexy. No. Optimus Deadpool says, Hey, Susan, I didn't know you were a handsome unicorn in a Chuck Tingle movie. Well, I am. Uh, old man Schnelli says, Doug has a new book. It's called Edwin and the Boy Yeti. Steps and Gold says, Anna, I think you're being too hard on The Rise of Skywalker. It's just a movie. Oh, fuck that. Horsecock Johnson says, Obi-Wan took out Vader, Grievous, and Maul. The Force had a hard on for that guy. Do you agree, Anna? You're the Star Wars expert on the panel. Yeah. I would say if if uh, if push came to shove, the guy who would kill them all was C-3PO. He's a killer. <laughs> all right. Let's end it here, everybody. Let's uh, all, everybody, first of all and foremost, back Cyberfrog Wreck Planet on Indiegogo right now. Be eagerly awaiting whatever the fuck John Mellon's got down the pike. I think it's uh, something with the graveyard shift. Anna, I heard my name. I heard my name. What's going on? Anna has a, 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 a art book coming out. That's Ooh. just crowd fun. We will push hard. Vampirella cover, Cecil. That's coming up. Vampirella cover coming up soon. Mm. Uh, William Val or Valley. Why do you pronounce it? Valley, but you can just call me Will. You guys keep calling me William. It's, I don't really go by that. Does you type your name William? Uh, yeah, I don't know why that happened. But. Billy Valley said, Billy v. Check out his channel. It's called Camel Moon. It's got wonderful stuff with me in it, which I'm very excited by. <laughs> and of course, if you have any money left, go to Cash Grab. Mm -hmm. Check out what's going on. And Narwhal's uh, foreign agent is closing, so uh, consider that as well. I am a backer of Narwhal's foreign agent. And uh, many other comic gate books. Take a look at them all. I'm passing out. I drank way too much. We'll end it with this beautiful song. Goodbye, everybody. Daddy, Daddy can't reap a song.
Daddy can't rape us all. Daddy can't rape us all tonight. Daddy can't rape us all. Daddy can't rape us all. Daddy can't rape us all. It ain't right. So Are we off? Can I take this off? Yes. We're off. Wait, are we off? Wait, did you see? Can you see the counter? Yeah, we're off. We're off. We're off. We're fucking off. Right.